If you clicked on this video, chances are you're familiar with a little indie game known as Undertale. And if you're not familiar with it, where the hell have you been for the last decade? In 2015, developer Toby Fox came out swinging with his debut indie title, which has been making waves across the internet for the better part of nine years. And inevitably, when something makes a big splash online, lots of fan works based on the property start emerging pretty quickly. For better... or worse. But when it comes to fan games, rarely do the fans make something that can hold a candle to the original title. But once in a blue moon, or should I say yellow moon, the fans knock it out of the park. Enter Undertale Yellow, a fan-made Undertale prequel that was in development for 8 years and finally released in December of 2023. And while I only became aware of this game's existence shortly before release, I can definitely say it was well worth the wait. Never before has a fan game captured so much of what made the original game special. If you had showed me this game a year ago and told me it was an official Shadow Dropped prequel to Undertale, I would have believed you. The team behind Yellow did a fantastic job of emulating Toby Fox's unique writing and game dev style. Just like the original, Undertale Yellow has two distinct paths to follow. The pacifist run, where you don't kill anyone, and the genocide run, where you kill everyone. This video chronicles my first playthrough where I went for the pacifist ending, but if you're a sadistic little freak, don't worry. I'll soon be playing through the genocide route on stream at twitch.tv slash nerdyedits, and we'll be uploading a video on that when I'm done. Also, thank you so much for the support on the last video. This one's going to be a little different because I prefer to do one to two smaller videos in between the big ones to give myself a bit of an editing break. But I have a bunch of big videos on the way, so if you want to see those, you know what to do. For years, monsters have been sealed away by a powerful spell. A spell that could only be broken with seven human souls. Their king was peaceful and wished to avoid any more conflict, but eventually declared that any human who fell would die. Mount Ebbet. Few humans have braved this mountain. Those who did were never seen again. Okay, begin game. Pretty excited about this. I've heard a lot of good things about it and thankfully I have not seen anything. The only thing I know about this mod or fan game, I guess, is that Toby Fox approves it and it just like base undertale it also has both a genocide and a pacifist route so for my first playthrough i'm gonna try pacifist my name is clover frog and hop close act compliment didn't understand what you said but was flattered anyway is that toriel ah oh, hello are you all right you must be wondering what is going on it is toriel Caretaker of the ruins. I pass through here every day to see if anyone has fallen down. It does not happen often. You were the first to come here in a long time. Do not be afraid, little one. I will do my best to protect you here. Come, I shall guide you through your new home. There's a run button in this game? Yo! Was there a run button in Undertale? I don't remember if there was. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. They must be solved in order to move from room to room. Allow me to demonstrate. We are free to proceed now. Follow me, my child. There are more puzzles ahead. In this room, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. It should have opened by now. I am sure I labeled the correct lever. Ah, do not worry, little one. Try flipping the other switch. Whoa! My child! Are you alright? Oh dear, I am afraid I cannot reach you. I must leave for a moment. You will stay there, will you not? Do not wander. Many monsters are unfriendly towards humans. Fret not, my child. I will protect you. Please, wait there. Whoa, the anim- Oh, the running animation looks so cool. It's very fluid. Oh. I fucking hate Flowey. All my homies hate Flowey. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm, you look confused. Toriel ought to have taught you how things work around here. She did it? I guess little old me will have to do it then. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your LV represents your love. It's... <laughs> I'm sure you won't have to worry about that. In the underground, monsters may try to attack you. If you see bullets like these, you need to avoid them at all. This is different than the flowy I know, that's for sure. 
Nice job there. In case you don't get, in case, in case you do get hit, I could save your progress. That means if something bad happens, I can make it happen, unhappen for you. You probably want to go home, don't you? Well, you've got a long journey ahead. If you ever need to save, come look for me. I'll leave these little things around for you. Oh, that way it's easy to find me. If you see one, don't hesitate to call, and then I'll save for you, like I just saved for you now. There's one more thing. The king of all the monsters, Asgore, he's been killing humans. The only way out is killing him and, well, you're pretty small. That doesn't matter too much though. What matters is you've got me on your side. I'll let you get going, but please be careful. There's all sorts of dangerous traps down here. And some of the monsters in this place, I hear they don't like visitors, so good luck! Interesting! Flowey's a helper in this game. you face to face. How long has it been? I was wondering if you'd ever come back. Who am I kidding? I'll never be able to meet you in this state. I just hope you know. I had no choice. It must be this way. Huh? Who? I must be seeing things. I think that's Toriel and Asgore's son. Again, my Undertale lore is a little rusty. Oh! Penilla draws near. Because she has a pencil. That's adorable. Flowey is Toriel and Asgore's son, but Toriel and Asgore's son was a separate entity before becoming mixed with Flowey, wasn't he? Yes, but Flowey is him. It's his soul in a flower. But I, wasn't Flowey a separate entity first? I really need to replay Undertale. No, he just died on the yellow flower bed of the game. Ooh. So yeah, I think after this, I'm gonna replay Undertale and then I'll play Deltarune. A little pile of conveniently bullet-shaped pebbles. Take them. Oh, it's a weapon. Oh, that's cool. You have to load your toy gun. Is it wrong to hold doubt in my actions? I enjoyed life before. I did, but I can't go back. What happened that day would only repeat. What is this? Why do they appear every time I start monologuing? I need my rest. Who is that little goober? Howdy golly, this place sure is dead. All the monsters are all quiet and lurking. That's not like monsters at all. Don't let this ruin your impression of the underground. We'll leave this dump behind soon enough. Ooh, something spooky's gonna happen. Aw. Desabat makes his presence known. Uh, let's... Let's just watch it, or let's check. Attack 4, defense 5, missing his quiet solitude. Don't move, don't make a sound, hush hush. Oh, so it's like, uh, freaking, uh, Papyrus. Desabat hushes you furiously. Move in silence, hush hush. What? You watch Desabat in silence, he seems to appreciate it. Whispers only, please hush. Yeah, I guess you just keep watching. In my head, I just have to keep watching him. We have to be getting close. The music's getting quieter. Sweet silence. He's ready to return to sleep. I declare you an honorary sentinel of silence. I entrust you to keep peace and order he here. I shall go conquer new lands in the name of quiet. This is a very high honor. So, hush, hush. Howdy, you seem to be doing well. You haven't even died once. Not that I thought you would, but it's nice to be prepared. Okay, so I, I'm getting a treacherous vibe from Flowey. Wait. Ah. Um. I don't know who you are, but I ask you, please leave. Property of Dalv, that monster in the cloak. No trespassing. 
You're still following me? I thought I made it clear that I want to be left alone. I don't understand. You look just like them. Is this some sort of haunting? Or have you come to finish the job? Retreating here wasn't enough, so you hunted me down. Right? What? <laughs> and I was just starting to accept my reality. The cruelty. Whatever I did to you that day was not my intention. I was only... Never mind. Words aren't enough. I... I don't want to fight anybody. But you've invaded my home. The exit is blocked, and you can't stay here. I will not allow it. Only one thing to... Oh, okay. This is definitely not Toriel and Asgore's son. Only one thing to do. Dalv, which is Vlad backwards, musters his fighting spirit. Let's handshake him. Dalv does, doesn't notice your offer of goodwill? Oh, no. I don't suppose you can leave the way you entered, could you? Dalv does not seem to value communication. <laughs> Where did you come from, anyway? There aren't any accessible entrances. Whoa! Sorry to make things difficult, but I'm not cowering away this time. Uh, Dalv seems to be dreading his next attack. The other monsters, did you pester them as well? Not that I care much to keep up with their activity. Please, Dalv! This region of the ruins is my home, and my home has rules. The residents understand that. Oh my god. Ah, no, no, no. Oh my god, why do enemies do so much damage? Oh, what's with that sad face? Don't you understand? Don't you remember me? I think you've got the wrong guy, my friend. It looks so helpless. Different. But is it a front? Dalv seems to be more in conflict with his more human side. So we talk, and he wants to talk now. Damn it! Okay. You aren't trying to hurt me. You aren't who I believed you to be, are you? How could I be so foolish? I apologize. I truly do. Can't. We can handshake him! Yes! Dalv accepts your offer of goodwill. You want me to shake your hand? Even after I wrongfully attacked you? But that is a sign of friendship. You're a human, right? Is it the same where you come from? I'm not sure. I didn't ever expect to meet another human, let alone befriend them. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to have a friend. I mean, I think. I don't really remember what that entails. I guess I'll give it a shot if you will. Dalv looks unsure of what to do. And that's the end of the battle, let's go. Friendship for the win, let's go. What do friends do, actually? Do you want to, um, see my house or something? I have to go there anyway, so I guess stop by if you have the time. Hell yeah. Oh shit, we're just in his house. I have to, um, fix something in the other room. Sit down, get comfortable. Take your shoes off. Actually, please leave them on. The floors are a bit dirty. <laughs> I haven't slept since this morning. <laughs> I love this guy. All right, I know you're probably eager to get going, but feel free to stay as long as you like. Yeah, let's check out, uh, Dolph's apartment. I don't exactly have a huge selection of food. I don't get out much. Oh wait, I have some leftovers you could take with you. I hope you like it. I made it for my birthday. Sponge cake is my favorite. It's a sponge covered in frosting. Sorry, I didn't invite you. It was last, <laughs> it was last week. You can come next year. It's an intimidating looking wardrobe. Open it. Hey, um, would you mind giving Pops his space? He likes the dark. You wave goodbye to Pops before closing the door again. Are you ready to leave? Yeah, I guess. If that's what you want, I'll lead the way. Well, here we are. Thank you for everything. You have really helped me out. Because of this, I'm leaving this place. I'm tired of being alone. It'll take a few days to pack up, but I think I'm ready to give the underground another shot. I have so much creativity I've been storing up. I'm finally ready to let my talents show. I can publish my novel, have an organ concert. I might even make another friend. What a world it would be if I had two whole friends. <laughs> <laughs> Relatable, dude. Jesus Christ. I've eaten corn every day for a year, and I'm doing moderately, okay? So much to learn, so much to teach. I'm very excited. Oops, there I go again with my rambling. Let's get you out of here. Oh, seems the exit is blocked off. Let's see. There we go. You're all set. Oh, before I forget, I never asked for your name. 
Mind informing me? Clover. Clover? What a nice name. Well, Clover, thank you so much. See you later, friend. The snowy area! Oh my god, dude, if we see Sands. I don't know how much earlier this takes place than Undertale, so I don't know if Sands is even around. Howdy, congrats on getting rid of those old ruins for good. You couldn't even go back if you wanted to now. Isn't the thought of fresh air exciting? Well, don't get ahead of yourself. You're still in the underground. We won't be anywhere near your fancy surface air for a while. I thought it was Sans for half a second. I just saw the feet and I was like, oh, Sans! Recalibrate the lava rock puzzle. Check. Well, it should hold together for a few uses at least. And that's good enough for me. Next up, Honeydew Resort. Royal Guard Guidebook, Section 4, Paragraph 2. This puzzle is intended to impede the progress of an intruder. Probably you. Entertain the residents of the surrounding area, Snowden, and appear intimidating to would-be intruders or wrongdoers. I'm unclear on what they mean by that. Just go with it. To pass by this challenge, you must melt the ice cube. Make sure the ball thing gets to the bottom without breaking, though. Signed, Martlet of the Underground Royal Guard. Oh! Okay, I'm dumb. I just wasn't... Yeah. All right, let's do it again. Do it again. Easy. Ha! Hey, you! Can you help me off this pole? I've been on... <laughs> I've been here for two days now! Two hours now! Three dogs came up and... <laughs> and tried to whip me! Due to the cold weather, I'm now stuck! My mom told me to be back in time for once! Please help! Maybe some coffee will hold my poor tongue! Ooh... <gasps> Coffee. What's this? A new customer? Who's this cool guy? Bam! Who am I? Nobody of notes, you know. Just the best darn salesman ever. Wham, I'm Mo. Anyways, the fact that you tried to get your mitts on this mug could only mean one thing. You're looking for a delicious little something to hit the spot, right? Of course, I know your type. So you want this here beverage? Yes. No, you don't. <laughs> Liquids? So last season. Solids? Pa! Season before. You want to be fresh and revolutionary? I got the latest thing. Solids that used to be liquids. And, you know, haven't been sitting out in the forest for three weeks. I have invented the next big thing. For the incredibly low price of 15G, you can have your very own hot chocolate pop. It was once boring old hot chocolate, but now it's frozen to the perfect temperature. Have I piqued your interest? I knew you would be. Dang, I'm good. Let's get down to business. Here's what I got. Hot pop. You enjoy that pop, buddy. Oh boy, oh gee, a customer. I'm nervous. I'm a male whale from the Underground Postal Service. Haven't heard of us? We're the best. For short, just call us UGPS. So I hear you're new to the Underground. How, you ask? Well, word sure gets around. The Underground is great and it keeps getting better. Because I brought for you your very first letter. You received mail. That was a special letter from us to you. Do you feel welcome now? I hope you do. Isn't the mail system a wonderful invention? If you ever want to use it, just come to a station. They look just like this and they're scattered all about. If you want to receive some mail, find one and give a shout. Now it must be off. The mail mustn't be late. I'll see you later on in your journey, mate. The coffee! Oh. Hey, watch it. Oh, <laughs> would you look at that? I think this chum wants to pass. Swig, toast, come over here. Yeah, boss? What's up? You need to shave again? We got ourselves some fresh meat. Ha! <laughs> you ain't going nowhere, small fry. Yeah, not nowhere. Will you two put a lid on it? <coughs> anyway, the name's Refill. I'm the boss of the world renowned gang, the Shufflers. We rule this town. If you want to pass, you're going to have to go through us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to start a fight. Let's be civil here. Do you attempt to attack everyone you encounter? Calm down, will you? Jeez. We Shufflers prefer to settle things in a more dignified manner. We would like to propose a challenge. 
Game of sorts. <laughs> I love this game. We'll take this ball here and hide it under one of us. Next, we'll shuffle around. When we finish, you'll have to guess who has the ball. We'll do this three times in a row. You win, you can pass. You lose, we'll sit here blocking you for all eternity. You picking up what I'm putting down? All right. That makes things easy then. Here we go. Okay, it's on the left. <laughs> nice eye, kid. Keep it. Oh, we gotta do it multiple times. All right. All right. <laughs> You're doing good, kid. Now don't let it go to your head. Oh, okay. Boss, I think the little punk beat us. That must have been a lucky guess. There's no way a glass of spoiled milk like you could beat us. Now, now, Toast, let's simmer down. There ain't nothing like to, ain't nothing to get heated over. The kid beat us fair and square. The shufflers ain't nothing if not true to their word. Ain't that right? Yeah, boss, a shuffler always keeps their word. Yeah, always. Now, kid, we'll let you pass on through. You've earned yourself a powerful friend in the shufflers today. All you gotta do is remember the name. We'll be on your side if you ever need us. The shufflers always protect a friend. Right, boys? Yeah, you got a problem? We can handle it. Yeah, handle. Looks like this bear fell asleep on its way to the resort. There's jars of honey tied to its back. It's getting cold. Oh my god, I love the monster design. Well, welcome to the Honeydew Resort. Please take a look around. Ooh. Honeydew coffee. All right. See, uh, okay, I need one more piece of gold. Now this is what I'm talking about. Perfect place to relax and de-stress. Well, not perfect, a bit crowded for my taste. At least that keeps things interesting. All right, we grab the coffee. You take out the cup of coffee. Hey, what are you, going, what are you crazy? This thing is steaming. I need something hot, but not that. All right, we'll uh, we'll we'll come back to Bunny Man. Oh hey, I forgot the voice I gave her. Oh okay, it doesn't matter. She's gone. We're almost out of here. I'm surprised that guard never saw you nearby, you know? Their puzzles sure weren't impressive, that's for certain. Knowing that, I wouldn't worry if you run into them. Whatever happens, I wish you luck. Okay, yeah, this feels like I'm about to get into a boss fight. Hmm? Oh, hello. Sorry, I don't know where my head was right there. It seems I have a summer home in La La Land these days. You look a bit lost. Are you looking for directions? I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm not actually an information kiosk. I know this place like the back of my wing, though. I don't get it lost much anymore. I can get you wherever you want to go. Wait. I'm going to take a shot in the dark here, but... You're human, right? I knew it! I knew I'd find a human! You must be human, right? Right? You look just like this guy in this poster I saw once. He had a hat, just like you. He was totally human, so like... Transitive property or something like that. Actually, I think he was from space. Are there space humans? Are you ready for some Royal Guard protocol? I hope you are, because I memorized it. Is that toast? Or is that a book? Martelet of the Royal Guard has encountered a human. Prepare to apprehend. Protocol 1. Be courteous and allow your opponent to the first attack. <laughs> ignore. You ignore Martlet's rambling. It doesn't look like she's noticed. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be helping you, but that was supposed to be your turn. It's okay. I space out and miss stuff like that all the time. I'll let you go again. We're just going to keep ignoring her. Uh, I, uh, hold on, I have the guidebook on me. I'll check what to do when someone doesn't actually attack. You can just, um, take another turn. Go for it. Hit me as hard as you can. I'm not the best royal guard, you know. I'm, I'm really trying to be better. Last week, I apprehended this girl. Total human. Oh, I think it's your turn. You fake a yawn. Martlet starts talking faster still. Ah, royal guards are to proceed to the next step without hesitation. Oh, does that count as hesitation? Uh, what? Protocol 2. My attack. Ooh. 
That was only a warm up. Prepare for the Royal Guard Gauntlet. Whoa, shit. Oh, the whoa, that's my first death. Talk about freezing up, haha. <laughs> All right, you can't laugh because, yeah. Oh, cool. It just puts you right back. Oh shit, uh, hiya! Whoa. Oh, the little lines tell you the direction the feather's going through it. Take this, intruder! Whoa! Oh shit, ah! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, ah! What the hell? Bro, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Um, hold on. I'm checking this one more time. That can't be right. You're not fighting back. I don't want to hurt you. You're all cute and stuff. You go on and have your turn. I'm going to check that handbook again. See, when I apprehended that girl, I didn't have this problem. Well, I guess she didn't attack me, per se. But she scolded me and got real aggressive like, What are you on about? I'm not human. Clear the feathers out of your head. Would you mind being aggressive like her? You call Martlet a weenie. Aw, oh, that was adorable! I don't even feel insulted! I feel like I've been honored, you put so much work into that! You aren't making this easy here! Here I go! Protocol and all that for the Royal Guard! Bro! Okay, I'm gonna run back and get some more healing items. Four, ooh, four defense, that's even better than the feather! Everything smells like bird seed with a tasteful hint of vanilla and orange blossom. You forcibly tell Martlet you don't like her clothes. That's more like it. What kind of royal guard wears rags like these, huh? It's not like I stayed up all night sewing them or anything. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, huh. You insult Martlet's job performance. I have to say, you're not wrong about that one. I've kind of been on probation for a while. One more misstep and I could say goodbye to royal guarddom. And all the nice perks that come with it. My cozy uniforms, my royal guard discount at the movies, my nice r insurance rates. When they find out how much I hesitated here, I'm doomed. I mean, they specifically said don't hesitate. I got it! The royal guard doesn't know you're here. They won't know I broke protocol. Instead, we'll just get you home before any of them see you. You'll be home in time for dinner. Maybe not today's dinner, but for sure a dinner. Anyway, we'll bypass the royal guard and plead your case to Asgore. There's no way you can say no to a cute little face like yours. Meet me up ahead and I'll show you my plan to get you home. Hey there, so here's the plan. I'm sorry, I think I went a little overboard, but I can't help it. This is all too exciting. So I've been saving this for a rainy day. You know, figuratively, we don't really have those. Either way, behold, the UG Aviator. In the water sits an old looking raft with just enough room for two passengers. Isn't she a beauty? Boats are she's, you know. I call her Ava for short. Isn't that cute? If my map and memory serve, the river should lead directly to the Hotland. From there, it's a hop, skip, and a leap to Asgore's castle. I'm not sure how we're getting in, but we cross that bridge when we come to it, right? I also wanted to apologize. Well, you know, attacking you. I mean no harm, honest. I just have to do my job is all. And, well, oftentimes I don't know what the right action is until it's too late. So I know we just met and all, but will you trust me on this? Yes, ma'am. Yay, don't worry, your trust is in good hands. Or wings, as the, case, as, as the case is. I'll guard it with my soul. And this means we get to have an adventure. This is so exciting. I mean, nothing this exciting ever happens around here. Think of all the fun we'll have. I mean, there's a chance I might be fired for this and lose all my life's work and belongings. But hey, what's life without a little risk? So shall we be off then? Yo, that's a real homie right there. So I was thinking, if Ava doesn't have sails, does this still count as sailing? Pretty smooth ride, yeah? My woodworking skills aren't too shabby. I suppose I should thank my mentor, older fella by the name of Kujin. Chu Chujin. Taught me everything. He, well, never mind. Hey, so would you mind answering a few questions for me? It's nothing big, it's just a little quality assurance questionnaire. Will you try it? Okay, great. Question one. On a scale from one to three, how would you rate your encounter with the Royal Guard? Please answer honestly. Oh, uh, I say a, a three. Wait, really? I got a three! I've never gotten a three before! Oh my goodly goodness! I can't believe it! I got a three! I have to tell absolutely everyone! Okay, sorry, got carried away. Let's keep going. Question two. Let's go from one to two. How would you rate 
<laughs> the puzzles deployed in Snowden. I, I like them. I'm different. I made them myself. There's a reason I was assigned to work under the Royal Scientist. I mean, it's because I got last choice of the station, but still, you pick up a few things guarding all that science stuff. Anyway, back on topic. Question three. On a scale of one to four, how would you rate the auditory ambi- What does that mean? Okay, that's a new question. Why do they keep updating this? Let's just forget the questionnaire. I'll just put you down as dead center for the rest. That sound good? Yeah, that works. Just a two there, and a three, and a 2.15 here and a 23 and we're done i'm gonna need your name for legal purposes you know how it gets it's clover what a unique name i love it so clover let's talk about ava isn't she great i told you sales like a dream from a perfect lullaby nice pays pretty view and not a single leak oh well there's a little one but not too many leaks you just sit back and relax and hey do you hear an abnormal amount of running water well, we are in Waterfall. Is it just me or is the river getting faster? Well, if anything, it helps... <laughs> Uh-oh! Whoa! Whoa! Hey, look, it's Hotland! This is our stop! Wait! We have to dock here! Slow down! Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> no, 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 no! Hello, Clover? Are you okay? Oh, no, no, no. You stay right there, I'll go get help! Oh, Bobby. Howdy, Clover! What a day this has been! Thanks to that guard, we're totally off course! It looks like she ditched you as well! I guess it can't be helped now! There's gotta be another route to Asgore's castle here! Tough it out for now and we'll see where this new path takes us! A little excitement never hurt anyone! Well, except you! Let me heal you up! I checked... Without any spoilers, thankfully. And uh, unlike OG Undertale, you don't have to get the neutral ending first to get the pacifist ending. Oh, it's the Drylands. The West Mines, property of Mining Co. I recognize these from the, the promotional material. Some packing peanuts in the box. We take them. Packing heals 10 HP. <laughs> the ideal for prevention of damage or destruction of fragile stomach <laughs> contents. I am very much digging the the Wild West theme. Warning sign ahead. Warning danger sign ahead. Danger snow sandstorm ahead. Take cover. Whoa. Oh, we gotta get in the house. Oh, this is a cool little puzzle. Oh, hello. I can't stand storm this sandstorm. <laughs> bro, what's your damage? Can a monster cool off now and then? You're such a killjoy, bro. <laughs> Howdy. Strange side, huh? Who knew something could actually grow here? Anyway, great job so far. This place is much more treacherous than Snowden. Keep it up, Clover. Yo! <laughs> Bam! Guess who it is? That's right, it's me. Long time no see. How have you been? Don't answer that. We don't have the time. I'm here to make you a brand new offer. A hot climate calls for a hot item. Check it. That's right. I went out. I went all out this time. This is a real delicacy around here. It's called water. Catchy name, I know. Lucky for you, I'm giving out free samples. Want a glass? Coming right up. <laughs> if you know your boy Mo, you know I planned all of that. Here's my real product, iced tea. It's like the sequel to water, way better. All right, so the shop is here. We'll come back here if need be. Oh. Uh oh! No! Shoot, I'm so close to the end! Who the? Watch it! I have places to be! Got a call about a job at Snowden. I was supposed to be there yesterday, but the walk is really far. I wasn't feeling up to it. Oh well, on I go! Set of cubbies dividing the miner's personal belongings. You notice a discarded belt buckle lying in one of the compartments. Take it? Yes. You borrowed a steel belt buckle. Our Ooh! Upgrade! 
How am I gonna get to the station now? The elevator door is jammed, man! Jammed! Piece of wood is lodged in between the elevator doors. What could fix this poor elevator? Oh! Okay. Oh, fiddlesticks! I've seen a few pick pickles in my day, and this is certainly one of them. Tell you what, I'll give you my trusty pickaxe here if you win a monster trivia game! Ooh boy, this will be fun. All you have to do is answer these questions correctly. Just try your best. Question one, who is the current royal scientist? So it's definitely not Asgore, because Asgore is the king. Alphys is the royal scientist in Undertale, and I've never heard of Dr. Science. I'm gonna go with Alphys. Correct, question two. What is most monster food made out of? Only one answer is correct. I'm gonna say in ingredients. Oh. Come on! Fine, I'll let you buy pickaxe for a price. How's 30 gold sound? Yeah. Pickaxe broke. Oh, of course it broke. Hey, just in time. I'm sure you noticed all this mining mumbo jumbo lying around, yeah? Well, corporate said we have to solve puzzles as we work to exercise the old noggin. They even made the foreman lock the door until work's done. Pretty unnecessary if you ask me. Seeing as I'm on my permanent smoke break. <laughs> Could you solve it for me? You look like a smart kid. Give it a shot. Nice, and then... Yeah, that's it. A lonesome safety jacket hangs on the wall. Take it. More defense six. Small jacket that protects its wearer from the world's dangers. Oh, so this is... This stacks my defense. I lost all my TNT. I have to tell the foreman. He'll fire me, I'm sure, but it's not it's my fault. I would go tell him right now, but I lost my hard hat as well. Can't protect my dome from the hazardous rocks outside. Today isn't my day. Oh my god, we have to kick it to him. You you found my hat! You are a kind soul. I don't have anything to give you, but I'm eternally grateful. You got eternal gratitude. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Hello there. My name is Angie, and I'm the receptionist of Mining Co. How may I help you? Yes, I'm aware of the dangers that lie outside the mountains. I could investigate, but my husband Gilbert needs to take more initiative. I asked him to do it, let's see, six hours ago. <sighs> Baby steps. Anyways. I've heard that several hazards have been seen around the dunes. I hope it isn't those wild east monsters pulling pranks. They tend to step out of line every now and again. I can't help but feel they're a bad influence on Ray. Ah, uh, these matters don't pertain to you. I apologize. Welcome to the mining co mines. I wasn't expecting visitors. If you have an inquiry, please take it up with my assistant. Gilbert, please. We've been married for 27 years. If you're going to ask about the hot conditions, I'm ordering more glacial stone cold packs later today. If you're going to ask about the falling rocks, I'm going to investigate it soon. No need to worry, everything is fine. So, what is it? Someone isn't doing their job correctly? Well, I never. They deserve a good slap on the wrist. That they do. One more mistake and I might put them in the timeout corner. I'll, uh, I'll send Angie to confront them. You won't fire them, will you? Of course not. The only monster I ever fired was the health inspector. Fired him before he arrived. Howdy! This cave sure is ginormous. I hope this rail leads to an exit because it's getting stuffy in here. Enjoy the road, pal. Alright, hop in. Let's go. Whoa, that's pretty. That was very pleasant. I enjoyed that. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Bigger puzzle. Alright. Story time. I got a good story. Third grade. When I was in third grade. Uh it was the end of the year. Teachers, hey kids. And so the end of the year, don't feel like doing anything. Gym teachers just threw out all the gym equipment, said, go nuts. Now, we weren't allowed to play baseball with actual baseball equipment, but the golf equipment we had was were these big ass, like huge, like this is the this is the size of the golf club head. Golf clubs, right? And of course, no structure. Go do whatever you want. And I'm walking around, and this kid backswings without looking. And to be fair, I wasn't looking where I was going to. Bops the shit out of me. And of course, I'm dazed. I'm hurt. They, they, I got to ride in a wheelchair, which was fun. They rushed me in. I had my hand on my head and I pulled my hand off 
and my entire hand I, I vividly remember this my entire hand was covered in blood except for like one little speck of grass and I, I remember i picked it off and it was like one little skin patch and the rest was just blood i was fine though I, you know mostly okay gym class was so weird like obviously like the point is it's like oh we want kids to be healthy but then for some reason they would always have like the most unhealthy people teaching gym class and a lot of pedophiles boom there i think i got it path has been open awesome hello visitor did you venture through this whole mine what a journey for your troubles i'll let you in on a little secret you see we aren't mining for gems at all those things are everywhere practically worthless we're actually mining for minerals like this one in front of me. They're used for building materials around the underground, you see? They're also very... You saw nothing. <laughs> Howdy! Gee, would you look at that. I can almost see the king's castle from here. Heh, <laughs> Asgore. Monsters shower him with praise, but it's totally overblown. You see, he's what they call a boss monster. It means he has a special trait with more power than others. When you take him down, his soul will stay intact. But only for a moment before... Boom! You win. I've heard the guy's immortal too. Can't age a second. At least, not anymore. Wild, huh? Boss monsters know how to cling to life, that's for sure. Hey, don't let all that info scare you. Immortal doesn't mean invincible. And still, a human soul is more powerful than a boss monster's soul. Asgore may seem intimidating, but it's all show. Deep down, he's afraid of you. A true pushover. Anyway, just thought I'd prepare my pal for what's to come. Whoa. Uh-oh. Who the hell? Holt! I, El Balador, have tasked myself with confrontation! The air is much too quiet, much too dreary! You make no noise when you move, you lack rhythm, feeling, fervor. If I did not know any better, I might have mistaken you for a sentinel of silence. No, no, this will not do. You must prove to me that you have what it takes. What it takes to live a life of richness. I challenge you to dance. Oh, shit. Let us duel. One and two and... Okay, it's like, it's, it's Guitar Hero. Okay, let's start with a smile. You begin to enjoy yourself and let out a grin. El Bailador smells, smiles back. Ah, uh, that was much too simple. Let us try this. Okay, so I have to hold it. Let's do a little twirl. You clumsily spin around. El Bailador appreciates the effort. Heating up. You feel the rhythm in your soul. Dash it, it grows! Oh. I hate how it doesn't sync up with the music. Let's just stare this time. You stop dancing to look at El Bailador. This upsets him. Aha, yes! This is what I live for. A life without dance is empty, I say. Others say that dance can also take life away. I do not see what they mean. You'll see some of those peanuts. A world of solitude and silence? That is not for me. The underground is much too depressing, you see. We are trapped within a barrier with no hope of freedom. A sad, sad situation, but it is not sad for I. We must make do with what we have, find time for the activities that make us happy. I am outgoing because happiness is not a quiet virtue. I often encourage monsters and hope that it is contagious. Shit, dude. Even if monster kind is cursed to this grim state, we must stick it out to the end. All the way up to the finale. What? 
Dude, no! Yes! Oh, let's go! You have proven your passion, little one. I apologize if the dance was strenuous on your health. Sometimes having fun means a few doctor's visits. However, it seems that you do not love dance as much as I do. Perhaps you find happiness through other means. I've never considered that for quite monsters such as you. Ah, well, I at least hope your day has been brightened. I wish you a fulfilling journey. Farewell. Bye, El Bailador. The Dimensional Satchel? What is the Dimensional Satchel? Howdy! Looks like we're back on solid ground. That mine sure was a detour. What a bunch of slackers. Anyway, let's keep up the pace, buddy. Step right up! We got a blowout sale going on. It may look like we're almost sold out, but quite the contrary. We only ordered one stock of mug. It has been on this trusty shelf for 13 years. Demand is depressingly low, so take advantage of this offer now! Only 40G, bucko! Wait, seriously? I mean, yes, of course! <laughs> Oh my god, let's get a break. <laughs> Enjoy your shards of glass! No charge anymore, buddy! You break it, do not buy it! Glass ammo. Oh, okay. Howdy! Gee, looks like we're getting close to an exit from this place. Aside from those mines, time has been pretty friendly to us. Should be a simple journey from here on... Clover? Great. Oh, hey! Clover! You're alive! You're here! You're here. I can't believe myself. I left you all alone in that cave. You had to be you had to brave the dunes by yourself. I'm a horrible friend. They trust me to be a royal guard and I left a child for dead. Like what is wrong with me? Eh, it's all good. You're clearly able to take care of yourself. The crash just happened so fast. When I saw what had happened to you, I panicked. I flew over the sandy landscape and found this town. I soon realized that I couldn't risk getting other monsters involved. They might have questioned me and I cannot keep secrets. They could have turned us into the more sinister royal guards. So, I, uh, sat by a cactus for an hour thinking of what a piece of garbage I am. I then got the courage to travel back to you and apologize, but here you were. So I'm deeply sorry. It happens. Thank you, Clover. You're very kind. Anyway, we should move on. I decided that I won't leave your side now. I'll follow wherever you lead. You just endured some crazy underground shenanigans, though. I'd understand if you need to rest for a bit. You want to hang around? That's great. I didn't get to sightsee at all on the way over here. Well then, friend, shall we be off? Yo, do we have a follower now? Found 30 gold in one of the pants pockets. Hell yeah, we're taking it. I'll tell you something, but I'm on strike. The owner needs to better himself. That's me. I'm the owner. <laughs> hey, dude. I know you'll say no, but I'm selling free hugs. Darn it, you already read my side, didn't you? I hate myself. <laughs> oh, hey, Clover. Remember how I told you I apprehended a human last week? That's her. You still think I'm your... Did your captain explain to you I'm not human, right? Please tell me she did. Oh, I'm so sorry, I just thought you... No, no, I'm sorry, I just get it often. It's totally fine. You wouldn't believe how many grumpy monsters I deal with. N not that you're a grumpy monster, I I'm sure you're very nice. <clears throat> anyway, what's your name? Huh? No, not you, silly, her. I... Actually, how about... Red? That's what your colleagues have been kept calling me every time I get falsely apprehended. To be honest, I hope that eventually I'd be caught enough that you'd all recognize me and it'd stop. It might just be wiser to join the guard at this point join? That would be fantastic! I'd be glad to show you the ropes of my job! You could even help me build puzzles! That might be a code violation now that I think about it. Ah, it's fine. What? It can't be that easy to get in, right? I mean, they let me join. We'll figure it out. Me and Clover have some important business to attend to, but I should be free next week. You can find me doing my duty around Soden any day. Oh, you're serious. <laughs> I mean, sure. S sounds like a plan. See you then. See ya! Sorry, I'm not home. <laughs> this is very Zelda-esque music. Sorry, buddy, this path is blocked. I ain't moving no matter what anyone does to provoke me. You wouldn't understand. Girl boss behavior. Huh? Hang on, I think someone's coming this way. Guys, looky here. Someone new has stumbled into our humble town. This better not be another joke. For once, don't look like it is. Hiya, strangers. Oh, hello! We're just passing through. We mean no harm, I promise. That's what the last guy said. Let's just say he's one with the wind now. Oh my gosh, you- <laughs> I'm just kidding around. 
You were shaking in your boots for a second. <laughs> you sure got me. That wasn't very funny, Edward. I can assure you that we are a delight to be around. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. I... Ugh. Why do you two insist on scaring away every monster you meet? At least Mooch never oversteps her bounds. Never! Um, well, it was a pleasure to meet you four, but we'll be going now. Hold it right there, Missy. Are my pals giving you trouble? Come now. That ain't a way to treat guests, now is it? The name's North Star. I run this town. Not alone, of course. These fine monsters are my posse. Together we are... The Feisty Five! Hell yeah. Our name stands for... Fearlessness! Excellence! Intuition! Sneakiness! Toughness! Youthfulness! Justice! The J Asylum. Anyway, now that we're introduced, I'd be glad to give you and your buddy a tour. Hold on. Your buddy? Are they, uh, human? Um, well, I won't say no. I knew it. There ain't no doubt in my mind. This kid is a real, living, authentic human. Sorry about this. I gotta seize this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Ed, fetch me that kid. Sure thing. Wait, what are you doing with Clover? Ah, Clover, is it? That's a mighty fine name. To answer your question, Feathers, Clover and I got a town to run. Don't Feathers me. You're speaking to Martlets of the Royal Guard. I can and will report you to King Asgore for this abrasive behavior. Your Royal Guard? That's funny, because I don't see anything to indicate that. No armor, weapon, badge. I I left it all at my post in Snowden. Please don't bother trying to fool us. He's right. I am truly sorry about this. I really am. But business is business. Together, we'll be the fastest six. Clover, I can't go up against these guys. Don't worry, I'll figure this out. Star, should we be doing this? Poor Martlet is upset. Don't be a buzzkill, Murray. When's the last time something exciting around here happened? You've got a point. Ahem. <laughs> The town's full of excitement, especially now. Let's go, bud. Owen, feathers. Welcome to the Wild East. Barkey, growlers of ice water for the house on the sheriff. I have an announcement to make. I love the way <laughs> Clover's being carried. This little feller here's Clover. Hey, Star. What the hell are you doing bringing a human in here? Soropa, shush. Now, I know what you're all thinking, but trust me, Clover here ain't no greenhorn. They know what they're doing. Just look at that. Actually, this could be fun. Dina, hit me! Ladies and gentle monsters, as Soroba said, Clover is a human. I know, exciting stuff, a real honor. Now, I would let Clover tell you all about their life, but I've been studying up. I'm a bit of a human expert, if you didn't know. Oh, great, here we go. Here we go, indeed. Did you know that humans use monsters for transportation? It's true, large four-legged monsters. They put a seat on the top of them and everything. They're called a horse's star. Ah, so you know of them personally. That's quite impressive. Did you also know that humans are fireproof? When they are feeling accomplished, they ride monsters straight into a huge fire or sphere. So the monsters burn, right? Most monsters aren't fireproof. Star, you saying my friend Horses was killed by a fiery spear? No, um, well, I'm not quite sure. I'll ask Clover. Do the monsters die? No. See? Everyone's fireproof. <laughs> Anyways, did you know that? Look, Star, you don't need to keep this up, because it's all true, every word. Ha! I knew it. I'm pretty darn good, aren't I? Well, I reckon we're done here. Y'all can go back to your daily lives for now. As for you, Clover, it's about time you see what this town has to offer. I would give you a personal tour, but if there's one thing you have where you come from, it's freedom. Take your time exploring, talk to the townsfolk, and enjoy yourself. I'll be waiting here for you. Give me a shout when you're ready to start training. Oh, hey, it's the Whale Lady. You're Clover, am I right? Your name has come up once or twice. Hmm, you look confused. Oh, right, I'm not rhyming. Yeah, it's just company policy. It gets a little tiresome sometimes. But other than that, I have no complaints. It's a great job. Wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm a little worried, though. These days, those fancy cell phones are all the rage. I don't know how long the mail service will... Oh, me, oh, my. My break's come to an end. See you next time. There's letters to send. And there she goes. You there, human. You okay? Not really. About what I expected. I apologize for Star's antics. He's really into human culture and whatnot. You show up here and he flips out. I mean, it is quite unbelievable. Few humans have wandered into the underground before, but 
They never set foot on these sands. All that to say, I'm glad you did. My name is Saroba. I'm a friend of Star's, but not part of his posse. They're a bit too rowdy for my taste. May I ask your name? I'm Clover. Welcome to the underground, Clover. Your attire is surprising, I must say. But, um, I won't press you on the matter. I'm afraid Star is going to drag you into his activities for a while. He must have places to go, correct? The castle. The barrier. You probably want to go home. I'm being honest, I haven't seen Star this ecstatic in some time. Maybe you should entertain him to entertain him a bit. Roll with the punches. I'll see what I can do about allowing you to leave. I know a safe path to Hotland through the... Ugh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll talk to you later, Clover. It was nice to meet you. Oh, no! Clover! I know I could count on you. So, me getting out of here. Any luck? Soon. Let's hope. Thanks for being positive. This is super ridiculous. Anyway, that Sheriff Northstar, was it? What a jerk. I tried to fight for you. I really did. His hooligans were too strong and tossed me in here. Knowing that, I don't think force will do much good. There's gotta be a level-headed monster around here. One that knows this is unjust and will free me. When that time comes, I'll... Ah, oh, who am I kidding? I couldn't press charges or anything. I talk big, but we're cornered. Asgore, another guard finding out about you would be the end. Uh, well, Northstar seems pretty enthusiastic about all of this. Maybe by playing along, you can gain his favor and set me free. I don't know. Just play it cool for now. I'll be here. Ugh, what a day. Howdy! Gee, seems like my greeting has found its home. Like the hat? It's a disguise. This area is pretty populated, so I picked this up to be safe. You being separated from Martlet is pretty lucky, but I hope the Star God doesn't hold you here for long. I may, be, I may have to intervene if he does. Well, what do you mean by that? How do you got any of that any of that good catnip? I've been dying to try some. That's what I would say if I were a dirty bandit. <laughs> were you almost tricked? I couldn't catch you. I could have caught you and turned you into the feisty five. <laughs> be more careful, partner. Are you ready to begin? Did you talk to the townsfolk? Explore every nook and cranny? You're gonna need to if you want to be a good deputy. That's right, kid. I'm heavily considering you for coveted sidekick position. Now don't get too high and mighty just yet. To be deputy, you gotta know how to wrangle the horses. Me and my posse are gonna show you how it's done around here. I wouldn't drag anyone off the road and give them special treatment. You'll have to prove your gunslinging skills to me. With that being said, let's go meet up with the others. Alright everyone, come here! What you want, boss? Oh, are we going to begin training with Clover? Precisely, Murray. I thought we'd start with a classic game that involves pacing. You mean what I see you doing every night outside the house? Back and forth, whispering to yourself. What? I don't do that. Some monsters have unique ways of getting their thoughts out. Other monsters. <clears throat> Can anyone correctly guess what game I'm hitting at? Ooh, I know. Yes, Mooch? A duel. Bingo. Oh, shit. No, no, this is all wrong. Oh, what's the matter? Clover doesn't look right. Look at their hat. It's tattered and practically decomposing. And that iron in their holster. What kind of pea shooter is that? Cool it is. I'm sure they tried their best. No ace has a point. What kind of host am I if I don't spoil you with gifts? To the weapon store. Oh, are we gonna get an outfit change? <laughs> of course. Old Blackjack doesn't like doing business with me. I have to borrow his wares and uh, break or lose them. Open up, Blackjack. Don't make me use force. I make the law so I can legally shoot down your doors. Get off my property, North Star! I told you I wouldn't even sell you a gumball! Ah, come on, partner! I don't even know what a gumball is! <laughs> These are the last transactions were ages ago! I'm a changed monster! You lost one of my premium revolvers last week! Frolicking in your sandstorm and whatnot! Look, I promise this is a different scenario, Jack! I won't even step inside! You can meet me out here! Make it speedy! Of course, sir! I was just gonna ask you to sell the gun to this child! <laughs> <laughs> I worded that poorly. Hold on. This ain't a child, you see? I was joking. They're just a very, very <laughs> small but very tough monster. Uh, I'll give you 400G. Why don't you open up with that, kind patron? Come inside with me and I'll fetch the paperwork. See, I had it under control. Wait out here, Clover. Done and done. Can I get you? Can I get a yeehaw? Let's see what you got. Take this trusty six shooter as a gift for me. Carefully aim at the dummy and take your shot. Don't worry, it ain't alive or nothing. I've never actually done combat in this game yet. It's all right, partner, try again. 
Might have fine job. Give it another go. There you go, one more. Nice shooting. I'd say you're a natural. I'm impressed, kid. Definitely passed this part of the training. I gotta go tell Soroba about this. She's a big doubter when it comes to you. Let's ride on. Soroba, guess what just happened? You locked up another royal guard against their will? Hey! Feathers was a serious roadblock to all this. It's only a temporary solution. I don't feel right doing it, I swear. I'm just giving you a hard time. What did you want to tell me? Oh, well, Clover just passed their first round of training. They are quite the sharpshooter, almost as good as me. Really? A child? Now, now, don't disrespect the kid. Clover can hold their own and then some. I know, I'm just very impressed. Oh, hey, I almost forgot about the hat. I have a spare somewhere in my house. Clover, wait here while I fetch it. Maybe while they wait, you should get to know them, Soroba. Should be fun, right? Sure. Sounds good. Be right back, partner. Tell me, truly, are you into all of this? It is a little fun. That's nice. I've never understood it. But if it makes monsters like Star happy, it's fine. This whole thing is like a dream to him. It's kind of goofy, but it is nice to see someone so passionate. However, passion can only go to so far. You wouldn't believe how much his parents talk to me about it. Really kind folks who own a farm up north. It's actually very lush there, if you can believe it. And the corn they grow? So good. They used to give my husband Shujin baskets full every other week. Someone mentioned Shujin earlier, and I can't remember where. Turns out I had one just your size, and in the same color. It's like Destiny or something. Here, you got a nice hat. Wow, I couldn't even tell it changed if I were standing from afar. It looks great. What do you think, Soroba? It's nice. Isn't it? Well, I'd say this mission was a great success. Go on, take a break, Clover. I'll be waiting for you. Stick about partner, this is a robbery. You got 20 G. Darn, I always get that part wrong. <laughs> Atta, Clover. Ready for round two? Swell. Seeing as the original plans were altered, we got catching up to you. Let's gather the others. What other mission would it be than the one we skipped before? Get ready, Clover. Are we actually going to duel this time or is it going to be sidetracked? It's time for us to duel. You mean duel? I, th I, I was going to say, I thought that was misspelled. That's what I said. No, you pronounced it with a UA sound instead of a OO sound. Boss, have you been skipping cowboy grammar class? Dual, dual, who cares? Tomato, potato, and all that. Y'all need to quit interrupting me so often. It upsets my frontier's end. Where was that? Oh yeah, it's time to participate in a carefully timed shooting competition. Mooch, provide Clover with the designated tool. Here's a BB gun for the duel. I'll uh take that six shooter off your hands now. Mooch, bring the gun here. That's what I was gonna do, Murray. Get out of my back, will ya? Alright, it's time to finally head- Wait. What is it? What could possibly be so pressing to interrupt the mission again? You forgot the safety glasses. Gee, boss, you could've hurt Clover. <laughs> right. I take responsibility and apologize for the oversight. Bring the glasses here. <laughs> Alright, Clover, we're gonna take ten paces and turn to face each other. When you hear the draw sound, grab your gun and shoot me as fast as you can. Here we go. Oh dang! Ah, oh, too bad. Let's try one more time. Got him. Star! Star, are you okay? Pretty much the opposite of that. Oh, Star, I'm so sorry! Who, who will give you who will you give your inheritance to? Not you, Egg. Clover, this was your emotional trauma test. This job ain't all swalter stones and rainbows, you understand? You might end up hurting someone and must carry that weight on your back. But what didn't scare you? No, what didn't scar you? Anyway, you pass. I'll be waiting in the saloon again when you're ready for the mission three. See, good things in you, kid. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Hello, aren't you a bit young to be hanging around here? Not to judge or anything. I'm a town visiting my little Murray. My lovely wife, Angie, is running the mines while I'm away. Not sure how efficient my boys will be without me there, though. Ready to continue? Follow me. You know the drill team. Ain't no time to be lazing around. What happened to the feisty five? Star, what is happening not on the west end of town? Would you care to explain? What? Is anyone in danger? Well, no, probably not. They are? By George, this must be an attack for the vengeful Virgil. Vengeful Virgil? Who is that? 
Soroba, come on! We drew his water poster last month! It's on the news board! You helped me find the thumbtacks and everything! Let's put a stop to this, Clover! Huh. Sure you saw some trouble in here? Look down. <gasps> oh, shit! <laughs> hey, I did not sign up for this! Get me out of here! Ed, keep it down! I need to focus! How in the heck will I solve this colossal conundrum? Just untie them. And risk being tricked into a booby trap? Touching those ropes is exactly what Virgil wants. What? This is scary, Star. I'm afraid you must choose which track the train un travels on. Yeah, choose Ed. Mooch, you are dead to me. <laughs> Unless Star chooses you instead. That's cold. This is all too overwhelming. I can't do it. Then have Clover choose. Oh, of course. Clover, don't have no emotional attachment to y'all. Sh should be simple. It's the Charlie- I know, right? It's the Charlie problem. Don't you think this is a bit much? Nah, it's easy. Choose to leave the track as is. It wouldn't be your fault, but many monsters get hit. Choose to change the track. It'll be your hand, but only Ed gets it. Not as much of sacrifice. What did I do to deserve this? We're out of time! <laughs> if only we could unside everyone. If only. <laughs> you gotta choose now, Clover! <laughs> um, Ed is my favorite, so I'm going with him. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I knew it was gonna be a fake. Ha, Clover likes me more. Now, now. This decision was tough and having the casualty be on your hands is a lot to handle mentally. There's a lot more than it than that, Star. This is a deep scenario that requires a lot of thinking. We don't have time for thinking. This is a test of judgment at Clover Pass. Passed? How exactly? <laughs> quiet being, uh, quit being so technical about it. Clover saved Ed. That's pretty good. I can't tell if that was an insult. Anywho, I'll see you at the usual spot, kid. Come to me when you're ready for the final mission. Howdy! Man, am I excited for this. Have you done everything you wanted? We caught some bandits, saved some lives. Let's get going then. Are y'all ready? Actually, there's something we wanted to talk to you about. Yeah, about the general work environment. Maybe later, <laughs> let's keep moving. So Clover, I actually tricked you. There is no fourth mission. Well, there used to be one, but we cut it out of the regiment. Every, anyway, you passed everything. You are now the proud deputy of this fine town. Wait, deputy? I thought this was for a normal spot on the team. Clover is too special and skilled for a normal spot. Star, this is hardly fair. Life ain't always fair in the wild east, bucko. They pass their training like anyone else. That was training? We barely did anything. That last mission especially was awful. Calm down, will ya? You're killing my good mood. I have to run to the mines to get Clover's badge made. I was too busy with everything and it must have slipped my mind. You five have fun. I'll be right back. This is just peachy. You getting this attention and all. How come you waltz in here and Star instantly makes you deputy? We didn't get this kind of treatment. We had to go through weeks of lasso lessons. Lessons for short. For me to become a part of the team, Star made me walk around with a snake in my boot for a week. It was rubber, but the rashes it gave me were unbearable. Yeah, and he made me pickpocket monsters by the Oasis. Star didn't make you do that. <laughs> you know what? This ain't fair to any of us. Clover needs a challenge. We need to see if they're truly worthy of joining our squad. Finally, some real excitement. Feisty four, here we come. All right, here we go. Here's the battle. Fire your gun at the bell. You hear a nice ring. So you're the new deputy, eh? Then you shouldn't have a problem dodging this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shit, that was a little, uh... Oh my god, it changes! Hello, Clover. I'm very sorry about this, but I've been bored all day. Hmm. Good luck. It's my time to shine.
That's for the train insults, Mooch! Let's see if you can pass round two, kid. Uh oh. Oh, damn! Shit. Okay, I think this is PV. Oh! She tricked me! No, no, quit holding back, everyone. Use your trump cards. Ow! Alright, let's team up for an attack. Ah, oh, I would be honored. We ain't done yet. Get ready for a strong- Hey! Oh man. What in the actual gosh darn tarnation is happening here? We felt your training was lackluster. So we gave Clover a real challenge. I'm disappointed in you for eight weeks of lessons for this? I'd have locked you away with feathers. Star, what's going on? You've been different. A real meanie. It's true, this hasn't been any fun. What are y'all blabbering about? This is the most alive this town has ever been! Why does everything have to be a spectacle, huh? I miss the old North Star, the fearless leader. The monster who could make their own fun in the little things. This new star is selfish and reckless. Or should I call you by your real name? Should I, Starlo? Why, you? What's with all the shouting? What's happening? Seems my posse don't respect me no more. It's not that. We just wanted you to take it down a notch. You can't just throw us around for this human business. That isn't what friends do, Star. I know what all this is about. Y'all are just full of envy, overflowing with it. Clover's shot circles around you and you just can't accept it. Clover has nothing to do with this, it's you. Clover's super skilled at everything. In fact, I think they could carry the whole squad of their own. Who needs us when you got a powerhouse, deputy? What are you saying? I'm saying I'm done. I resigned from the Feisty Five, okay? Really now. It'll still be the Feisty Five without you, so go ahead. I I'm leaving too. I don't want to work under a big-headed sheriff. Seems like life dealt you a bad hand, Star. I'm following them. Sorry, Star. Please work on yourself. Forgiveness is only one apology away. Man, I was considering firing y'all anyway. Saroba, you understand, right? They're being ridiculous. Starlo. They're right. You have changed a lot from the monster I once knew. I tried to brush it off as you having fun at first, but this Wild East thing has damaged your personality. I want to see the real Starlo. Well, everyone's gone. I got no posse, no friends. I... I need to think. I can fix this. Howdy! I was afraid things would escalate. Nothing you're not fully used to by now. This is probably a good time to get out of here. It's all gone way too far, don't you think? Whatever happens, I wish you luck, Clover. Man, doing all these voices hurt, hurts my throat. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Hey, hey, kid, sorry about the whole train thing earlier. I love playing the villain, but I never considered how the others felt. Maybe in the end, that's what makes me the real villain. Is my bird, yeah, my bird friend's still in here. Kind of overheard what happened outside. Ugh, I know I shouldn't feel this way, but maybe we should go after the sheriff, Clover. I know he did some mean stuff, but he's out there all alone. He gained his trust, so maybe you should sort out the situation. And, uh, we still need him to let me out of here, of course. Howdy! I was hoping Starlow ran to his parents or something. Looks like you'll have to confront him. Do what you do best. I'm always rooting for you. Oh, here we go. Why did this happen? I did everything in my power to entertain, so monsters wouldn't have to worry about being stuck down here. At every turn, I tried to cheer Saroba up. I just wanted Kanako off her mind. I'm trying my best to honor her memory. Aren't distractions what's best for all of that? You. Why'd you follow me? Are you still my friend? Hold on. This all happened after you showed up. It specifically mentioned you was the problem. That's right, I was just being a good friend. I made you who you are, yet this is what I get. Let's face facts. I couldn't keep you here forever, kid. Word would have gotten out, the feathers hadn't clocked in eventually. Feathers, wait a minute. Royal guards like her have a ton of status. They gained that status by doing the king's work. I'm sure, I'm sure everyone would come back if I did the same. I'd be revered not only in the wild east, but the entire underground. I'd... Clover, you've been an excellent deputy, but... As a lawman, what I'm about to do is embedded in my soul, my true duty. Don't, don't make this difficult for me. Just hold still.
Oh, oh, what? Oh, no, dude. Dignified sheriff would face their opponent fairly. However, you're no everyday bandit, so get ready. You chop and pull at the lasso, but it only gets tighter. Huh, even tied up, your skill. I sure have an eye for talent. You narrow your eyes and everything becomes letterboxed. <laughs> Still, part of me wishes things could have stayed the way they were. You squirm inside your leather cage to no avail. Why'd you have to step foot in my town? Just a few hours ago, everyone was getting along. Now, well, we're here. This is the only way to fix things. The only way I know. <laughs> oh, shit. A tumbleweed rolls by. It says hello. Quit squirming so much. Ah. Clover, you gotta understand. Come on! Give it up already. Oh! Fine. I didn't want to use this, but I've got no choice. Goodbye, partner. Ah, he's shooting at me! Stay still! I don't want to hit my lasso. Ah, there we go. Yo! Ah! At least it's a fair showdown now. Time for a real duel. Gonna miss our time together. I mean that. You spin your six-shooter several times to intimidate Starlo. At first, I was truly happy. I thought you were the real deal. All my sacrifices, all the naysayers, those didn't matter anymore because what I had was special. Now I've realized the truth. The sheriff stuff, it's worthless. We all tout justice, but true underground status is only secured through pain. Monster Kind's hero is a title soaked in blood. Oh my god, I didn't realize I was taking that much damage! Oh no. No! I'm gonna have to do all this again. In the end, Nothing but bandits. <laughs> oh my god! One. I have one left in my chamber. I'll make this count. You lower your weapon and raise your hands. What? What are you doing? This isn't fair. Starlo! Starlo, stop this right now! Who have you become? Because this sure as hell isn't the Starlo I grew up with. We almost died. Saroba, now's not a good time for this. Don't kick me while I'm down, please. I'm, I'm sorry, Star. I know this is weighing heavily on you, but listen. None of us hate you. The real you. We adore you. What we hate is this false, reckless persona you've created. I have my own baggage. We all do. I don't even know if I have room to say this, but bring him back. Bring back the innocent farmer I once knew. I just wanted to be appreciated, revered by all. I was trying to provide a slice of the surface where we have none. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not even telling you to quit running the town. Just don't let this identity consume you. It isn't healthy. Very well. Clover, I'm terribly sorry for attacking you. I do value your friendship and the time we've spent together. You have every right to make fun, but... <laughs> this is who I really am. I'm not a real sheriff, just some nobody farmer. Don't say that, Star. You may not be a real sheriff, but you're the best sheriff I've ever known. Yeah, I suppose I am kind of cool. Darn right, but this whole show wasn't only for some personal power trip. I also did it to cheer you up. You might have wanted the old me, but I also wanted the old you because of Kanako. I, um, appreciate that, Star. I, I believe I have business to take care of relating to her. What do you mean? I must tell you something. I suppose Clover should know as well. As much fun as it is to have duels and catch bandits, there's a pressing matter looming over me. Let's go to the old Steamworks gate. We'll speak there. Zoroba, come on. Go! 
Clover, Clover! So I have good news and bad news. I'll start with the good. Turns out the wife of that old friend I told you about is here. Her name is Saroba. Oh, that's... Okay, that's where I heard it. You probably met her already now that I think about it. She broke my cell lock with a sti with a sick magic staff and let me go. I also made sure she knew I wouldn't tell Asgore about this. So that's that taken care of. The bad news, I'm about to go back on my word, sadly. I know I just said I wouldn't leave your side, but then, you know, this crazy detour happened. I also realized I threw my job to the wind to travel with you, but since the imprisonment took up so much time, I have to go back. If I don't at least clock in, the World Guard will grow suspicious. I'll only be gone for a moment to fix my mistakes. Sroba encouraged this decision, so don't worry. She told me she would accompany you on the journey to Hotland. So hey, it all works out. Again, I'm so, 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 so sorry about this, but I'll see you later. Oh, Jesus. That was a close boss fight. I'm gonna head back to town. Grab some healing. Oh, I was about to stop there anyway. Hello again, I have some news. You can now ship yourself if you so choose. Ship myself? What could that mean? Transportation, all for free. If you want to travel, give me a call. We will set to the skies without a care at all. I must go, but don't be nervous. Just ring the bell for our service. Oh, that's cool. Fast travel. Ooh, delve. Greetings, Clover. Life has been a treat since we last saw each other. I packed up all my belongings and set off for Snowden. I recently found a nice place to settle down. I think you'll like it. Oh, and all of the neighbors moved out with me. Moved out with me. I'm not too sure where each one went, but I know they are doing well. I'm also taking art lessons from Penilla now. She gave me the cold truth and said my art needed lots of improvement. It stung at first, but then I remembered that you should always aim to improve yourself. Ah, look at me rambling again. I hope the mail service doesn't charge extra for that. It was nice to talk to you again, even if it is over written text. Please visit me in the future. Life is getting a lot better. Dal. Hell yeah, dude. Now let's go visit Dal. <laughs> Clover. Hello. You could sort of caught me in the middle of the moving, but I don't mind taking a break to chat. What's on your mind? Oh, you see the structure here? I have claimed it as my new residency. Of course, it's in no state for living at the moment. I will definitely need help on the construction end of things. Not sure if Pops will like the close quarters, but I'm sure he'll get over it. He has a tendency to get a big head from time to time. We're working on it. There you are. I was about to come looking for you. So the steam works. May I ask why we're here? Because of this. The mask Kanako made for you. Yes. You see, Clover, Kanako is me and Shujin's only child. You haven't seen her around because... Hey, everything will be okay. I know how tough you are. You can move past this, I'm positive. There's no need, because she's alive. I feel her presence as we speak. The lab? Precisely. Clover, you may not know this, but there's a lab at Hotland. An inquiry for the Fallen Down was sent out some time ago. I didn't know what else to do. In my time of despair, I sent Kanako with them. It's been far too long, and I haven't heard anything. I must travel to the lab to find out where my daughter is. I'm proud of you, Saroba. Stepping out and taking charge. You've been in a rut lately. It was tough to watch. So why travel through Steamworks particularly? It's the quickest route to Hotlet from here. Nothing but abandoned rooms as far as I know. I have Chujin's old passcodes for any locked doors as well. Solid plan. If you need me, I would be happy to accompany you. I don't know how ugly things at the lab may get. You need to stay here and take care of the town. I believe you owe your posse an apology. You're right. I'll take Clover with me. They've proven to be skilled on several occasions. Excellent choice. I trust Clover to deliver justice out there. Alright, we've discussed enough. Let's get moving. I'll see you later, Starlow. Whatever happens, remember, this is for Chujin's legacy. Oh, Clover, before you go, I forgot to give you this. Despite a few hiccups, our little adventure was a blast. I'll be seeing you around, partner. Remember, I am in charge. Stay close by and we'll reach our destination soon. Keep up, Clover. We don't have all the time in the world. I see something. Follow me. Guess I should have expected this. In its prime, this was the main power source of the underground. That, obviously, was many years ago. Until we breathe light back into this thing, we can't progress. There's some kind of console here. Maybe one of Chujin's codes will work. Just give me a second. In the meantime, you can wait over in the corner or something. Is there a save point I would like to, uh... Ooh. Ah, 
I hate puzzles like this. Yeah! Howdy! Another team up? You're wasting your time, buddy. So far, these monsters have only brought you misfortune. I feel like following that lady's orders won't end any differently, especially with that lab business. Just try your best to move things along and not get sidetracked. Hopefully, we can talk soon. Good luck, Clover. Shoot is clogged with strange-looking plants. This reminds me of that, like, the under lab area from the original game. Appear inside the chamber. It's far too dark to make anything out. Oh. Oh, and I have a feeling whatever's in those chambers. <laughs> Whoa. All right, now we gotta go back. Uh-oh. It's working. Wait, what have you been up to? I wasn't actually doing anything this whole time, was I? Uh, Alright, you're clearly more capable of problem solving. I suppose you should lead the way from now on. Just head west from here and we'll reach Hotland eventually. Oh, okay. We go, yeah. Steamworks. What luck. Turn the power on and the whole facility goes insane. Since you're now the leader and all, how about you run ahead and turn the steam off? I think I see a switch over there, so no problem, right? Don't worry, I'll catch up. Ooh! Ah! <laughs> oh, nice! See? No sweat. I still find it interesting that Flowey doesn't show herself when you have somebody with you. Excellence in Engineering Award, Dr. Rutherford Oscar. Decency in Engineering Award, Professor Daniels. You tried an Engineering Award, Miss... Ooh, Chujin Ketsukane. I think that's her ex. He never told me he won an award. I'm proud of him. Greatness in... K Can't make out the rest. Axis model 14, ready to guard and protect. Intruder spotted, Steamworks, Eastern Branch. Wait, who are you? Axis model 14, ready to guard and protect. You just said that. My vocabulary is not expensive, ma'am. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. If you let us through, we'll be out of your hair. One, I do not have hair. Two, I cannot allow you to pass. You have trespassed on private property. You have also utilized machinery without permission. No, no, we're just heading to Hotland. We weren't malicious in, our, in the slightest. It was us who woke up this place. Isn't it nice to have power? While it is nice to be operational again, it is also not nice. I am the last of my kind to police this area. All of my comrades have rusted over. I always knew I was the best, but I am also lonely now. Oh well. I will now trap you in a cold, dark room for which you might perish. My husband Chujin used to work here. I have permission. Don't make me hurt you. Chujin, my creator. Huh? Sorry, I do not see him present. Goodbye. Wait! Yo, so is she like a magical girl or something? Ouch. Can't say I was prepared for that. I knew my husband was an engineer, but he never told me about that guy. He'd mentioned a robotics project that could net him a promotion, but he stopped talking about it after he quit his job here. Ugh. I would have used force to bypass Axis, but I'm not sure now. He may be the last remnant of Chujin's talent. It would be best if we could just avoid him from now on. In any case, we're pretty lucky he's the only guard bot around. Wait a second. I have an idea. He mentioned how he was lonely, right? Well, what if we fix that? We could use Scraps lying around to forge a companion for him. He doesn't seem too bright after all. Maybe that's all we need to distract him. What do you think? Okay. Great. It's the best plan I could think of. So, we seem to be in some sort of strange room. Look around for parts we can we could use. Shouldn't take many. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, use, let's use the trash can. Is this your final choice? Okay, let's build a robot. <laughs> um, I love it. It's simple but recognizable. Not bad. That takes care of that. You're kind of creative when push comes to shove. I'll do respect to Chujin's work, but this might just full access. I'll hold on to it for you. Can't say that was fun. Let's be extra cautious for now, okay? Wait, another robot? Gee, you're too clean. Let's stain that vest. No way, we can't fight this thing. But if Chujin built... You know what? We'll talk later. Let's find a peaceful way around them. I'll do my best to provide defense for us. 
You offer to give Jandroid a scrub, they seem offended. No, you! Ah, ah, ah. Whoa! What the hell? Holy shit, dude. I wonder if I could just flee. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a dead end. It looks like we're gonna have to... The, the, the floor is lava, travelers. I'm sorry to say I failed the game some time ago. Bzz. However, you do not have to. I will ferry you across the lake. Bzz. This bot doesn't seem malicious. That's new. I say we give it a go. Thank you for your ch -ch trust. With my help, the floor will not be lava. It will just be floor. Bzz. All right, let's take a ride. This is kind of cool. Oh. Again, we best get on with it. Watch your step. Oh man, we have to go back in the lava. <laughs> the Tomos paper is a handwritten letter to King Asgore. This project, while exciting, will be quite the undertaking. We will need mining code to work overtime to provide the necessary materials. Furthermore, a meeting was conducted at the factory. I'm happy to report that everyone is on board. There already are many great robot ideas floating about. Cooking, cleaning, recreation, the motivation is through the roof. Though one engineer suggested we take this further with a protection bot. I'm quite unsure that pr proposition. I'm quite unsure about that proposition. But you have to you have the final say. In any case, we will see this completed. Professor Z. If this is lore relevant, I am ignorant to that because my Undertale lore is rusty. You have reached your destination. Thanks for the help. Let's keep moving, Clover. If you need another r ride, I'll be here. Bzz. Oh, finally. <laughs> Escaped convict spotted. Steamworks office branch. Oh no, run! Oh crap! <laughs> I was trying to get chapstick! Halt, you are coming... Bro, she ditched me! Stay here while I get the tall lady. Do not touch anything. I like a better game of Chessers was played here. Have you seen my wife? Security station would be useful to track roaming. Ro Yo, is this Five Nights at Freddy's? They even got the pizza! Okay, let's... Go! <laughs> No! Damn it! I almost did the same thing! Clover, the lockers! Follow me! How? This guy means business! My husband was one hell of an engineer. I just kept wondering why he kept all this from me. He could have left me some sort of off switch, right? The robot! I totally forgot about our plan! Oh, sorry, next time we see Axis, we'll try it for sure. Which means we're probably gonna have another chase. Found you. Oh. <laughs> no, bro, it's like Undyne. No! Fuck! <laughs> Axis, hold on a second. One. <laughs> uh, one million seconds. I do not have the knowledge to count that high. What is this about? I have a surprise for you, a special one. I will admit, you have my attention. Proceed. I have for you your very own robot companion. A sleek, top of the line model. Aren't they beautiful? No. Not in the mood. My eyes are only set on your apprehension. Goodbye. Making them cry, Axis. Come on now. Robots cannot cry. I have tried. Goodbye. Well, it was worth a shot. Plan C it is. I am immobile. 
If we went with our surprise, we would have gotten this messy. Do not mock my judgment. I will return to capture you with new hands. <laughs> well, there we go. Definitely what I need to need after all the madness. I wonder what Starlo's up to right now. Probably on some feisty five quest with a smile on his face. I do envy him to be wrapped in optimism and fantasy. Most might act cheerful, but life down here, it's hopeless. That's why they look to the king for assurance. Ooh. Howdy! Boy, am I glad that Fox Lady let you roam free for a bit. Not being able to talk to my pal has been torture. Now, I know she roped you into some lab detour, but... Come on, captive monsters? Talk about a conspiracy nut. I mean, it's like you don't want to follow my advice. Remember your real mission, Clover. The five children you set out to find in the first place. There's no need to visit that dingy lab, you know? Asgore's still out there threatening human lives. Keep your head in the game. Hey, wait up. I think I'm ready to get back into things. Lead the way. More steam, fantastic. One more time, Clover, you got this. Yo, Soroba kind of stinks. She's very quick to abandon me and just send me to do her dirty work. Holy. What happened here? Hope this stuff is okay to touch. Peer into the box and find a bucket of nails. Take them. You got nails. Head office. More tests are underway, both biological and mechanical. We don't know which direction will ultimately be best for monster kind yet. However, the chemistry lab did have a breakthrough regarding a white plant. I'll get back to you on that once further testing is commended. commenced. Alright, I have a feeling we're about to get into a boss battle. What was that? I... am awake. Gardener, model O2, st status, d damaged. Oh, hello there. Was it you who disturbed the flora? I ask you to please have more respect. Um, we apologize. What happened again? Do not worry. Seeing that the child is so y y young, it is for g g a pull. I will report the incident as a level 303 oh, e e evil 10 offense. Level 10 means the termination of the trampler. Hold on! Farewell. Ah! I'm stuck, Clover! I need to find a way out of this fast! I have incapacitated your options. I ask you cooperate with me. Oh! What the? Alright, we're gonna... Ah, oh, we have to chip away. Accept your offense, trampler. Alright, that... We're... we're... We're running back, we're running back. Accept your offense, Trampler. You must learn that plant life is important, more important than you. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell? If you do not yield, I will call for backup. You are a handful. I am going to count to three. Oh, what the f Oh my god, I have no healing items. <sighs> Whew. Whew. One. Holy shit. Two. Not bluffing. Three, calling back up. You called for help, Gardner? Correct. This trampler does not value the greenhouse. What is the level of offense, miss? Termination. Level 10? I mean, of course. We are sorry, offender. Gardner says you deserve termination. They know. I just said that. This is only getting worse. Don't stop your efforts to free us. Please stay in your confines. Ah, I was made to dead. Oh, I have no more heals. Way to go. I'll do what I can to help us escape for good. Cleverly done. 
You have gained my respect, but you have not gained my mercy. Bots, attack. No! The slippery... Yo, can you not shoot me? Yo, that is good to know. If I make it to the top left corner, you can't shoot me. The one on the right. Okay, now they go away. So I still have one full heal. Okay, we gotta bring our offensive down. Let's... I know plead works. Let's try gathering. Pick some flowers and offer them. Gardener is too distracted. Just you and I again. Okay, that did not work. So we're gonna act and we're going to plead. Here for the attack. Oh, you missed it. Seriously, man? Hey, it is okay here. A flower to cheer you up. Yo, thanks. Mind if I attack a little? By all means. Ah! Whoa! 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 What the fuck? We're gonna plead again. Pencil lowered. My creator hears about this. He will get a long lecture. A lecture more painful than anything I'm doing. True torture. Do that. The head office will give you an award. Excellence in ruining Gardener's Day. Deserved. I'm assuming we're probably gonna get the offense level to down completely. Gather flowers for him and then we can mercy it. Give in already. Wait. Y y you. Offense level lowered. Oh. What happened? There this seems to be a gap in my memory core. I am sorry. I think that did the trick. You're pretty clever in intense situations. I'm impressed. Gardner cools down his steam seeds from her arms. And we spare. There we go. I was about to do something. Oh, yes, I remember. Sending level three report. Response negative. I apologize. Allow me to call again. Sending level three report. Hello, creator. Are you there? I believe my creator may be playing a practical joke on me. Signaling Steamworks head office. Beep. The line you are contacting has been disconnected. Where? Where is everybody? Oh, I have allowed immense overgrowth. I understand. It seems my day has passed. Cancel report and reinitiate hibernation. Hibernation sequence engaged. I am sorry for inconveniencing you. I do not know what the world is like now, nor do I wish to. Life was much better not knowing. Yeah, that was kind of beautiful, not gonna lie. Televiz tunes in. This is a show she thinks you'll love. Here comes the best part. Hard disagree. Oh, it's the DVD player! <laughs> Two paths. Hold on. That symbol. I've seen it on Chujin's work uniform. Let me try one of his codes. Nope. Ugh. Well, I only have one left, but I've already used it. Here it goes. Seriously? Same code as the Dunes Gate? With this kind of security, no wonder Axis is so vigilant. After you. Oh, hey. Rusted through. The sign says if the receptionist is unreceptive, check with the robot control station three floors up. Robot control station? Clover, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Axis? Exactly. If there's some sort of breaker box for all robots in the area, we can shut Axis down and get to Hotland as planned. It's worth an investigation at least. Let's go. Whoa. Various cardboard cuboids lie bunched up in the corner. They're all empty. Really? Another door? Let's look around. Has to be a switch on a panel somewhere. Good morning, Steamwork employees. Hope you're ready for another day of productivity. Today we are boxing and shipping goods out into the underground. Uh, hello? Are you sentient or pre-recording? Hello, new hire. Yes, I am fully sentient. Trapped in this two-dimensional rectangle for all eternity. Right. Can you unlock all the doors in this factory? We're in a hurry. Sorry, but each morning we do a little thing called earn your freedom. Complete a full shipment and you'll be on your way. Fine, we'll do the job. Clover, this bot might have connections to Axis. Seems we gotta do what it says to avoid unwanted attention. 
You can work this thing, right? Push the start button and we'll get it over with. What are you doing? Put red items in red boxes and blue items in blue boxes. Three strikes and you're out. Your machine's broken. The second conveyor belt doesn't move. No. Yes? It's bro- No. Screw this. Clover, you box the goods and I'll toss them into the chute. Teamwork, right? Something like that. Let's give it a shot. Okay. What? I'm so confused. Okay, that's blue. Blue? Oh, that stuff I have to let pass if it doesn't... Okay. Okay. Okay, two more floors after this. Oh, God. What the fun? Hello again. The shipment is almost complete. One final step and you may have the passcode to exit. All you have to do is sort each colored package by tilting the platform left or right. Pretty obvious. Look who paid attention learning colors in preschool. Not by choice. I'll take the drop chute up top. You man the platform. Good, good. Okay. Great job, everyone. You can't spell Steamworks without teamwork. Can't spell it without steak either, but that has absolutely no bearing on this situation. Let's see how you did. Calculating. Aw, oh, you barely scrapped by, scraped by, but that's what performance reports are for. Hey, it isn't our fault the system is so impractical. Why does it take two giant steps to ship a few packages? Why can't we sort the colors when boxing them in the first room? Beats me! You know, for being built by such a great by such great minds, the Steamworks are awfully convoluted. It takes a massive IQ to understand the complexities of the Steamworks. Your brain probably isn't advanced enough, <laughs> says the wall-mounted GIF comprised of three pixels. You know what? You can take your little passcode and... Aww! <laughs> Just give us the code. Of course! The passcode is 8972. Got it? 8972. Yeah, thanks. No, thank you, employees. Thank you for making the underground a little brighter. Metalworks emergency escape plan for plan or meep. In case someone sets the room on fire, do not use the elevator. Evacuate down to floor one or use a passcode to access floor three. Uh huh. They really locked this place up tight. Well, if the code is found nearby on the first floor, let's take a look around. <laughs> we got one more, one more. Oh shit, it's this guy! There you are. No way. You seriously want to do this again? Yes. Remember the explosion that incapacitated you? Yes. I retrieved brand new hands. I am unstoppable now. Look, at some point you gotta- Shh. Do not resist arrest any longer. Stand still and let my handsome hands shine. <laughs> Shoot. Psst, Clover, this way. My vision. Initiating 16 volt super flashlight. 95% of power utilized. Typography box hindered. What do you mean? Oh. This is most un... This is bad. <laughs> I love this. Okay. We need to stay out of his view and keep quiet. There's gotta... Hello again! What? Are... Whatever are you two doing? <laughs> There's gotta be a code around here somewhere. Once you find it, head for the exit. Ooh. What? What? Ha. Huh. Found you. Away you go. I am so tired of this falling thing. How about you? <laughs> so tired. Like, can't gravity screw off every now and then? Seriously? Ugh. Come on, get up and we can do this. Whoa! Oh, C3, A1, B1, D3. Am I supposed to think of this like A, A, B, C? Is it like a grid maybe? What, like, what am I supposed to do? This is so confusing. I'm looking this up. After many attempts and with help, I cracked how the puzzle works. The letters indicate the order of the numbers. So it would be 1133. Oh my God. It was that simple. Okay, let's head upstairs before Axis. Hello. Axis! Just the bot I was looking for. How are you doing these days? Not so good. 
I could only speak in 15 characters max back there. It kind of bummed me out. I'm sorry to hear that. Glad you got your full speech ability back. Thank you. I do like talking. Wait. Wait. Are you trying to distract me from my mission? No. Oh, okay. Can I ask you a question involving the security of the Steamworks? Yes, I am a security expert. Why is it that some doors require a passcode to unlock and others require a Steamworks ID? Two-factor authentication. Uh... Workstations. Okay, we'll probably find a, probably have another code to find. You know the drill. You are awestruck by the absolute pipe pandemonium on display. How do they do it? it? Must be the manager's office. Surely they had access to all the passcodes. Let's check those file cabinets. Hold on, look here. Performance reports for all factory employees. One sixteen twenty XX. Mr. Chujin pitched his blueprints for a guard bot of sorts. He called the project Axis. Three nineteen twenty XX. Axis Model 1 was presented to King Asgore, but was swiftly rejected. The poor thing couldn't stay powered up for more than 6 seconds. 51020XX. Axis Model 04 backfired and shot one of its gloves at the king. This is getting embarrassing. 72320XX. Axis Model 07 refused to enter the throne room. Asgore gave Chujin one more shot after incessant pleading. I know he's a smart engineer, but if this next showcase goes south... 92320XX. Well, this is it. Model 08 booted up and seemed to be stable for a moment. That was until a malfunction occurred and sparks began to emit from the body. In the chaos, one spark leaped onto King Asgore's flower bed. A fire ignited, but was swiftly put out. Please, leave. Leave and do not return. I, I apologize deeply, but as we are, us monsters simply aren't ready to bypass the barrier. You know this deep down. I know you do. Access is the solution you need. The solution I need is a reliable one, one that won't set fire to our homes. This is about my... It isn't. I thank you for your service to society, but I'm afraid Monster Kind's freedom belongs in more capable hands. Capable hands, he says. Look at Axis now, the true realization of Chujin's vision. He far exceeds any model Asgore ever saw. And you know who those capable hands now belong to? The scientist who has Kanako. Dr. Alfie's... Oh shit. A while back, she built a robot too. One so lifelike, it got her the position she has now. It must have been real impressive. So impressive that Asgore kicked the other visionaries to the curb. I understand now why Chujin never shared this with me. He must have been absolutely gutted hearing those words. Screw the royals! The politics, all the red tape! This clover! This is why the mission is so important! can't trust these close-minded gatekeepers to do anything right. Not for a second. Let's go. Interesting. 9217. Hello! I welcome you into my body. Wherever would you like to go? Top floor. Did you say basement? Get us to the roof. Out of here. Whatever. I carry a negative opinion of you. Heading to out of here. Sorry for all the outbursts. All of this is... It's a lot to process. Bet you're pretty tired of learning about me, so... What about you? You're not exactly a talker, so I don't know much. Why are you here in the first place? Did you simply trip and fall into the underground? I'm curious. You know, I'm a teller. Because I don't... Because Flowey doesn't want me to tell her. And I don't trust Flowey, so... I see. You wanted to find out what happened to those kids. A noble mission. Takes guts. I'm assuming you haven't found them yet, though. We have arrived at... Out of here. Well, uh, better get moving. Whoa. I'm guessing this is our ticket out of here. Just have to, uh... Why don't you take a stab at it? Technology and I don't exactly mix well. Daunting array of screens and buttons lies before you. You press one of the buttons. Robotics control status. Functioning at 78%. Waiting input. Okay, so all we can do is go to settings and just shut down. Error, could not complete task. Just kidding. Emergency shutdown complete. I hope that worked. It's unfortunate Axis had to end up this way. Maybe I should... No. I wish Chujin's project could thrive, but a line had to be drawn. Can't dwell on the past any longer. Let's go. Hey! Who did that? Clover, you can hear me, right? I'm gonna try to blast a hole in this thing. No, I have to fight the freaking robot. I only have one healing item! 
It's going to take a lot to break through, and to think we were almost free of the place. Um, just look around for a switch or keypad. There's always one near doors. Oh, Jesus. Main power source not found. Initiating emergency backup power. What was that? Did I just hear Axis? Hugh, man. You tried to shut me down. I have had it with you and your friend, thwarting my plans. I am this close to directing all my steam into my rude finger. And yes, I am yelling. My typography box just lacks the exclamation point character. A shame, but at least I have a- at least I have question marks? Hey, Clover! I don't think we can outrun this guy any longer. Please try to find a peaceful way to outwit him. I'm sorry, but I don't want you to creation smash the bits. Outwit? Maybe. Outgun? Never. I am ticked off and out of non-lethal options. So prepare yourself. I am attacking now. What? My programming is preventing me from attacking. It says you are not a current threat or resisting arrest. Ugh, forget this. Here, I will make you a threat. Hold this, it suits you. There, now you have drawn. <laughs> you have a drawn weapon. Loopholes are wonderful, are they not? Now, time to die. Oh, shit. You pull on your sh shirt repeatedly in hopes to beat the heat. Your effort fails. Oh, cool! What are you doing with that lid? It was not supposed to be useful. That is cheating. You ready your thrust- your trusty shield for whatever awaits. Oh, damn! If anything gets past, I take damage. You tell Axis he's not great at his job. If he could frown, he would. It's like Brick Break! Uh, or Break the- whatever that game is. Stop it! Oh my god, he's pissed! I literally have one healing item. Do you have to bounce it back at him? Yes! What was that? What did I say? Is not a word. Why did I just say that? Oh my god! No! Alright, I guess I'll eat my granola. Just so I can PB and get more information. Stop, stop, stop! Shit! Okay! Alright! Ready your trusty shield? Oh, this is cool! Alright, that was a cool move though. Okay, now it's best to do small movements here. Whoa, that was quick! Damn, that move is hard! Shit! Ooh, nice! Wait, this is your doing? Of course it is. Do not shock me again, okay? Don't move. Don't move. No, I lost my shield! No! <laughs> he does so much damage! Oh god! Uh, ow! There he goes. That is enough, unbeknownst to you, I brought a backup plan. Portable generators, infinite battery, good luck. Clover, I'm almost through. What you're doing, it seems to be working. Keep at it until he's out of juice. Um, I can hear you. You two think you are so smart. Ha, I do not run on juice. In fact, I do not run at all. I roll, obviously. You... That's right, you can't go up. <sighs> I was a fool to think I'd beat the game today. How? How? I was moving! <laughs>
Oh my god. Okay, so you have to change directions when the red line isn't on you. Nice! Okay, I'm almost PB. I still have a healing item. I don't remember what's after this. Okay, don't move. Now move. Damn it. <sighs> okay, don't move. Move. Don't move. Move. Oh my god, that part's hard! No, why is it doing the Kamehameha move? Oh! I still have my shield! I still have yet to make it past this part. Okay, made it past that part. I think it's gonna go in a circle, so if I kept following the same circle, I think I would have been fine. Alright, so clearly we did not finish the game today, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm really enjoying this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, okay. That is the first time I've ever made it past that part. Okay, that's one. Right. Oh my god, oh shit. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Oh my god, that was so much. Uh, how the f <laughs> Oh my god, I, okay. Screw you, screw you, screw you. Oh, I was so close. Holy crap, that was lucky. No. You would not like me a little battery. I am warning you. Do not drain my battery. There we go. Oh my god. Please tell me this is the end. Good job holding your own. Axis seems pretty dazed. One more shock should do him in. Let's end this. You feel the furnace's heat. Please. What the f is. Oh, it's another shield. We're so back. We are so back. Please. Please, please! Oh, <laughs> yes! Random credits, thank you for the follow. Me, me. Shutting off strenuous emotions to save power. Ah, uh, what did you do to me? I don't feel an utter murderous rage anymore. I do not know what to do with myself. Uh, suppose I will stare at you blankly until you do something. Can't. Plan B? You ask Saroma to present your metallic creation. Of course. Hey, Axis. What? How do you feel about second dates? Like a calendar? I. What is this? This feeling? Uh-oh. Soulmate located. Perfection personified. Where has this beauty been all my life? Holy. The shimmer. The complexion the curves okay that's enough clover let's uh let's wrap this thing up yeah i did it this emotion it feels so nice i must thank you for opening my eyes i had no idea such wondrous sights existed glad we could finally reach a level of civility can i keep them whoa slow down here do you want to know a secret yes i would like to know a secret they told me that they like you, but will only go out if it's casual. Get to know them a little first, you know? Ask what their name is or something. Okay. All right, good. Give it a shot. Hello, my name is Axis. What is your name? Haha, <laughs> you are so funny. Want to get married? Hey, remember what we talked about? They said yes. I am honestly just as surprised as you. 
This rocks. Okay, then I'm happy for you. Well, not to rain on the parade, but Clover and I have to go. Go where? Hotland, just as a business trip. Well, I wish you a pleasant journey then. Backup battery, extremely low. Please recharge. Oh, suppose I should go do that. Recharging will restore me back to my factory state, but... Added hated human and tall lady to authorized list. Oh, hatted human. There, now I will not attempt apprehension next time we meet. Thank you, Axis. You have a good life. I will try. Oh, one more thing. Hmm? You said your husband was my creator. Would you tell him that I miss him? He was always very kind to me. I... Yeah. I'll tell him. Thank you. Goodbye. I gotta say, that was pretty entertaining. How we could bypass Axis without destroying him. Turns out you're a pretty damn good leader, Clover. I don't know why I doubted. Right. I see your ex I see our exit up ahead. We're close. We actually made it. Let's hope this elevator works. Next stop, the lab. And what are you planning to do with the lab? Starlo? What are you doing here? The gang and I were planning a return party for you. Thought it was a great idea, especially for Kanako. That's very kind of you. Yeah, well, we went to your old house up to spruce it up. After all, this would be the perfect time to move back in. And what did you find while cleaning? Uh, I was sweeping the floor and spotted something. An almost invisible trapdoor and entrance. Soroba, what's actually going on here? What really happened to Kanako? D no. Why? This can't. Quit mumbling to yourself and speak up! Why do you need Clover? I don't want this to escalate, so tell the truth. She was gonna sell me out! Oh! I... I have to go. Clover, come on! Saroba! Ed, take Clover back home and keep watch! I'll chase after her. Right. Oh, damn! I didn't expect that! Ugh. I'm never traveling via laundry chute again. Ed, you're back! And Clover, too! I was worried sick about you. Where's Star? Saroba ran away, so we chased after her. Alone? Why did you let him do that? Star knows Saroba more than anyone, Murray. Well, I'm not so sure of that anymore. Clover! Murray messaged me about you being in danger, so I dropped what I was doing and flew over here. Why'd you get feathers involved, Murray? I just thought she deserved to know. She can help. Thank you for reaching out. I heard that you found something in Saroba's old house. What was it? We didn't have the time to look over everything closely, but it raised some serious concerns. Papers, tapes, belonging to Chujin. All way too scientific for me. Clover and I could scope it out. No way! I was told to keep Clover here. There's a potential threat to their life. There's always a potential threat to their life. If anyone can fix this, it's Clover. Fine. Just stay on track. I can't have them running away or nothing. You know the way? I believe so. Okay, we'll meet you there. I still have to finish explaining everything to the group. Until then, come on, Clover. Hey, before we go, I need to apologize. I shouldn't have let Saroba take you. I just really thought I could trust her. We all did. And what I had to take care of in Snowden was far too important. You know what? Doesn't matter anymore. Let's focus on what Ed told us. Concerns regarding Chujin, he said. Surely it's nothing, right? Chujin was almost like a father to me. I don't know where I'd be in life without him. I'll let you lead. Just head to Oasis Valley. Nice to see you again, by the way. Okay, I have 136 gold. I would very much like to find a shop. I'm assuming before getting into the final boss, we'll be allowed to... I will be allowed to go shopping. Okay, yeah, this is it. Wow. I wish Chujin invited me here back in the day. This house is incredible. Uh, yeah, let's get inside and see what the fuss is about. I should have asked where the papers and tapes are located, huh? Well, I guess we could take a look around. Should be an office somewhere. Ooh, I can't stand looking at that. It's... Let's just move on. I... Huh... Nuh-uh. Kids shouldn't mess with knives. Kids shouldn't mess with guns either. <laughs> I think I might be guilty of child endangerment. Whoa. Gizmos and gadgets fill the, decks, the desk space, looming over it all. A map. On the map are several pin locations of... This isn't what Ed was talking about, right? I mean, this is clearly Trujan's office, but I wouldn't say it's strange to keep track of where humans... Sorry, I'm sure this is upsetting to look at. So many monsters do keep up with it. Those events are a big deal down here. I heard about Trujan's interest in robotics once. Guess this is as far as he ever got. Oh, you missed the you missed the last stage we were in. Expertly organized files labeled with numerous monster names. Did he keep records of everyone he befriended? Sandra, Lewis, Dr. Fish, Rosa, Martlet. Wait, Martlet? He found another monster with my name? I can't believe that never came up. 
They're full of videotapes. A label on the front reads, home movies. Well, I'm sure these are adorable. We don't have time to watch them. Gotta keep looking for whatever. Spooked end star. Oh, this supposed to be the kid's room. Game case is a handmade cover slip. Surface Tycoon, it says. Chujin programmed a video game for Kanako? Wow, must have been awesome to have him as a dad. Oh! This must be where they ate their meals. What do you see? Hey, uh... You think something's under there? Alright then. On three. One, two, three. Ooh, secret hatch. Whoa. Good eye, Clover. Well, uh, after you. It's like finding the under lab in the original game. Oh my. What? What is all of this? Formulas? Soul research? Hold on, look over there. Tapes. Each one has a date on it. Maybe this is all a big misunderstanding. Yeah, that's probably it. We'll just watch these and clear the air. I feel like this is not going to clear the air. Greetings. This is Chujin. I don't have much time these days for a written journal, so I opted for a video. I have no idea who will view these, if anyone, but I see it best to document my work. This is all for now. Signing off. This is Chujin. Today, I traveled to Snowden with my daughter on casual business. While I was busy, Kanako wandered off to play with a resident. That's when it happened. A few panicked townsfolk ran up to me saying that a human had entered the area. This human. They attacked the monster Kanoko was with. She was so close. She could have been next. No one was there to protect her. Not even me. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Humankind already won by trapping us down here, yet they keep twisting the knife. This cannot continue any longer. As of today, I'm looking into stopping this perpetual injustice once and for all. This is Chujin, with unfortunate news. I was fired for my engineering position. I poured my all into my project, but it wasn't enough. The programming was buggy, but I know I could have ironed it out with a few more iterations. Why am I being punished for trying to take our struggle seriously? I feel as if I'm the only one who hasn't forgotten or chosen to live in ignorance. I told Soroba I was retiring. Can't let her think less of me. But enough of that. It's in the past. I must live in the present and plan for the future. Prove I can save monster kind another way. This is Shujin. After years of research, I've made a breakthrough. Boss monsters. They may be the key to monster kind's survival. I was able to reach this conclusion because I... I carry the boss monster gene. This means my soul is much stronger than that of other monsters. More importantly, boss monsters are immortal until they produce offspring. Right now, monster kind is few in numbers compared to humanity, but... What if anyone could become a boss monster like me? Like Kanaka? As a nation, an army, we could finally possess enough power to take the surface back. My theory for this involves the fusion of a human soul and a boss monster soul. From that, a serum would be extracted which could transform any average monster. Unfortunately, I have not garnered enough proof that said serum is possible. I must conduct more tests. This. This is Shujin. I was worried this might happen. Science is a dangerous game. Rather foolishly, I experimented on myself several times. Over and over, the subject rejected the fusion, and I think I know why. I'll be direct. My soul has deteriorated, and I don't know how much longer I have. However, I believe my theory holds stronger than it ever did. This is a message to my dear Soroba. This research is up to you. No one else would listen. After I'm gone, look for the next human who falls down here. Someone pure of heart, uncorrupted. I need you to obtain their soul, but not just anywhere. You must have a boss monster soul nearby to fuse with. You'll need... Damn it all. Search for a willing boss monster in the underground. Someone else, please. Our little girl, Kanako. She needs to live a happy life, unaffected by my endeavors. This is my final wish. Okay, I thought it was going to be that she was going to, like, give me to King Asgore, but... No, she just planned to sacrifice me for an experiment. Oh... Oh my gosh, I never knew. He he never mentioned. Clover, we have to go right now. Come on. So he figured it out. Yes. Sorobo was trying to carry out a plan Shujin left for her. Something involving Clover's soul and a boss monster's soul, which happens to reside in Kanako. What the? So she lied to us about the mission to retrieve Kanako? She wasn't lying about finding Kanako. That's the alarming part. So Kanako is alive and well? Thank goodness. Alive? Am I missing something? It's a long story. She fell down some time ago. 
Soroba sent her to the lab and hopes to remedy the situation. I had no idea. Okay, where was the last place you saw Soroba go, Ed? You ain't taking Clover straight to her, are you? That's exactly what she wants, right? Yeah, Clover needs to stay safe with us. She can't accomplish her goal if Clover's nowhere to be found. We aren't going to let her accomplish her goal. And anyway, the Wild East is a tourist destination, a public place. My colleagues probably know a human is in the underground by now. If Clover stayed here, they would eventually tear the town up. Better to be on the move, yeah? Uh, look, I need to fly ahead to scout out the situation. So again, where did the two go? I don't think... Clover, you were there. Where did they go? The lab. That lines up. Hotland it is. Hey, I gave Star my word. Let them do it, Ed. Clover is the only one who could put this to rest. All right. They took the Westmost elevator in the Steamworks. You can use a laundry chute to get back there quicker. That elevator's destination sits near the core. Ask around if someone spotted which direction they went from there. Wait, we need to go too, right? You need all the help you can get. Appreciate the offer, but please don't. This might get dangerous. Stay here and keep the townsfolk happy like you always have. Okay, but please be safe. I'll try. Thanks for all your help. Even if you locked me in a jail cell for hours on end. Hey, what are friends for? I can think of a few things. I mean, <laughs> no problem. Clover, meet me on the rooftop of the UG apartments ASAP. We'll figure this out, I promise. I, uh, wish you luck with this, seriously. Yeah, I bet we'll all be catching bandits again shortly. I'll be sure to save you a spot at our next nap time. Just don't go doing anything stupid. See you later, deputy. Howdy! Long time no see, buddy. I've been waiting to tell you something. It's been weighing on my mind, so I truly mean it when I say, told you so. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't pass that up. Now, I know this is the part I tell you to ignore Soroba, but... I have a strong feeling that wouldn't sway you at this point. Honestly, I'm starting to see want to see how this plays out. After all, that fox wants to waste your soul on a science fair project. No good. I'm in your corner like I've always been, so don't worry. We'll get rid of her and continue down our path. Easy peasy. It's all it'll all work out in the end, pal. Oh, this is cool. Oh, howdy. We're nearing the castle now. What an eventful day. For kicks and giggles, why don't we tally up your death total? Drumroll, please. You died 12 times. Wow. If I wasn't there to help, this all would have been a disaster. Maybe jumping down a chasm gung-ho was the brightest idea. But hey, all's well that ends well. <laughs> oh, hey. Ah, it is you. Welcome to my club. I am glad I remembered to put you on the guest list. Now join us in a dance, will you? Who knows what might happen from this point forward. Continue. Let's go. You made it great. What a view. That large facility in front of us is the core. The main source of power for the underground. Behind that is New Home, the capital city. I asked around and was told Soroba and Starlo headed there. I guess she ran the opposite way of the lab to juke her pursuer. The two couldn't have gotten far. I'm positive we'll find them. We'll... Whew. It's all setting in now. This is like super intimidating, right? Not just me? I don't know when I'll get another chance, so I'll say it now. You are a kind soul, one of the best I've met. Left and right, you've been beaten and bruised, but you stay vigilant. You diffuse situations and mend relationships. Far cry from what I was taught growing up. Royal guards are told at nauseum that humans are the enemy. I only ever heard stories of war and our underground imprisonment. But you're different. If you could change my mind on humans, I know you could change Ascors. After we defuse the Soroba situation, we'll march right up to the castle, you and me. And then, well, you'll be on your way. But don't you worry about me. When Monster Kind is freed, we'll meet again on the surface. By then, you might be all grown up. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Point is, I'm glad you hopped on my raft. Okay, we need to get moving. That way. The elevator downstairs should take us straight there. After that, I'm not sure. I'd call for backup in a scenario like this, but we're on our own. Outlaws. So, partner in crime, are you ready? Oh! Let's stop Soroba. After you. This looks different. Now, Charles, I know you've had a long day, but if the dishes in the sink are done, we can't eat dinner. Can't a guy catch a break? They put me in a dock review all afternoon. I can barely move my fingers, let alone lather them in your weird soap. Whoa, this is cool. Whoa. I I see them. This way. Soroba looks distressed. 
I'm sure we can negotiate her down from this, but horse comes to horse, we won't have to retreat. Tactically, of course. Let's listen in. Just leave me to my own devices, Star. Soroba, I don't know what you're saying. Please, calm down. I must go to the lab. It's where Kanako is being kept. I have to get there by any means necessary. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Don't get in my way. Or what, you'll kill me? I'll... Hey! Clover and I, we watched the tapes. You need to let this go. If not, why are you here, Clover? You're supposed to be back home. Thank you for finding me. It makes things easier. If I were you too, I'd leave Clover here and forget about this. It might not make sense to you, but it's for the best. Cut the self-righteous act, will ya? Just stop it. We can turn this around, Saroba. You said it yourself that Kanaka was alive. Let's just find her and go back to our normal happy life. Happy life. That's rich. I lied about Kanako Star. I had to. What? Falling down is practically a death sentence. Unless a miracle takes place at the lab. There's no... There's no hope for her. You. I'm trying to make the best of what I can, okay? This is all I know to do at this point. Kanako? Kanako is a boss monster. She's the key to finishing Chujin's work. This is his legacy, his plan for the future. Monster Kind's only hope for survival. Don't you speak for him! You've seen the tapes, right? Do you honestly think this is what he wanted? Kanaka wasn't supposed to be a factor in this. If he were there... The Chujin you knew, you knew nothing of him. No, Martlet's right. We might have had some different views, but Chujin was kind to everyone, and I know you are as well. It's just that right now, I... I don't understand you. When I fought Clover, I was reckless. But when you want their soul, it's for the best? Not only for Clover, but the soul of your own. Shut up! You think I don't know how far gone I am? And where's this high horse coming from? Sounds to me like we're in this pit together. Soroba, please. Just get out of here. Let me finish what I started. You can't have Clover! We are going to Asgore and that's that! Don't you dare. Marlet, grab Clover! I'll keep Soroba at bay! Go, now! No, dude! Son of a... Oh, shit! Clover, I... I'm sorry for what I've done. I almost wish you never showed up in the Wild East. Maybe then I could have continued to burn my sorrows in the saloon. But now, I must follow through with my mission. I've somehow grown to respect the hell out of you, but... At the end of the day... You're naive. There is so much you don't understand about monsters. What did you think? You jumped down here and find them? Five humans living out their lives unharmed? That isn't how it works. I'm guessing you discovered the truth, right? Then what? Well, was your and Martlet's plan to storm Asgore's castle for revenge? Or was it simply to plead for a free ticket back to the surface? He only needs two more souls to shatter the barrier. Wouldn't hesitate for a second to make that one. But who am I to criticize how he carries out business? Here I am, about to do the very same thing. I am a hypocrite. A liar, sure. But at least I... With Chujin's guidance, can save countless monster lives. These two couldn't understand that. And Asgore? Asgore is a coward. Didn't believe in my husband at all. He thinks problems will just disappear if he closes the curtains. I long for freedom as much as anyone, but... He doesn't consider what will happen once he gets his souls. Everyone else, too. They all believe victory will come easy, but the humans I've heard of, they are powerful, ruthless. As soon as we try to leave, they will stuff us right back into this hellhole. They want our misery to fester until we give up and die out. I am no better than Asgore on a scale of morality, I'm sure of it. But what I am is proactive. Monster kind is worth protecting, so I will see that it is done. Truthfully, I have nothing left in life, so I've made peace with throwing it away. You'll fight back, but you can't forever. Goodbye. No turning back. Gosh, is this the final boss? You take a breath. The world seems to slow, but only for a moment. Oh shit! Okay. Oh, I. Strobo White sweat from her brow. Skell. You look up at Soroba enraged by what she's done. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. 
Alright, we'll heal. I don't mind healing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Negotiate. You try to talk Shroba, but her attention is impenetrable. Why? Oh, I thought it was gonna... Oh, shit. Why won't you die? Oh, shit. What the... Why? Whoa, Michael! If I don't succeed, it's over. Die! Oh, I, I don't... Oh! <laughs> shit! Oh, I thought that was it. Just die! Ah, oh, you asshole. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 What the hell, what the hell? Oh my god, <laughs> the decimal? So, it's come to this, my last resort, for Chujin, for Kanako. Oh, she's going sicko mode, for the future of Monster Kind! Whoa! This is so cool! What was I supposed to- What? Oh, cool, it starts me here. Oh my god, I have a f gun? What? A mother's love. You hold on to your hopes. Defense temporarily increased? Yo! Oh my god, like, every turn now I get a bonus hit. Oh, I guess if I hope it does it. Whoa! Mayhem has been unleashed. Dude, this is so cool. Think of those you love most. Speed temporarily increased. Endure, you refuse to back down. Gained 7 HP. Oh, that's a free heal! Nice. Oh, I got it! Strobe gazes down upon the underground. What would you like to wear tomorrow, honey? Solomon and Christina are paying a visit and bringing food, too. I'll help you up and we can all enjoy a picnic on the front porch. How's that sound? Soroba. Yes? I don't. <laughs> this is all so pitiful. Hey, don't say that. We don't need to have anyone over. It could just be us. A picnic sounds lovely. I want you and Kanako to have one, surrounded by your closest friends. What are you saying? I... Gosh, you know, I never was afraid of it all my life, but now it's so close. No. Shut up, stop it. Just say it like it is, or don't say anything. I can't do this, not now. I'm sorry. There's something I must tell you. My work? We never talked about it much, did we? We didn't. When I built this house, I installed a basement. What? The entrance is under the kotatsu. Always has been. There, I work towards a project. Something much bigger than myself. Bigger than all of us. I don't understand. I recorded a message for you. When I'm gone, I would like you to view it. Will you do that for me? I will. I promise you I will. I haven't seen tears from you since we met at the crossing. I saved them for the moments that matter. I'm glad. Because this moment matters a lot to me. Oh, And I have a feeling we're about to get phase two. Were you in my head just now? You have no right. Yup, phase two. All right, let's go. Or this, I guess phase three. Let me out. What? 
shit. How far back does that send me? Oh, okay. Okay, this fight has a lot of checkpoints. That's that's good. Let me out. Oh my god, there's so much shit. Let me out. Oh, okay. I have a feeling there's going to be one more after this. Our little girl, Kanako. She needs to live a happy life, unaffected by my endeavors. That is my final wish. Oh, no. Kanako? What are you doing down here? Is... is it true? What? Am I... different? Kanako, I... Daddy said he would have lived a long time if I wasn't here. He would still be... No, no! Your father loved you, and he didn't want to put you in danger. You heard him. His dream. All these books and papers. You've been trying to finish it, haven't you? With my limited abilities, yes. But it doesn't involve you. I've been looking into ways to create the serum without a boss monster. I'll figure it out. I have to. But I found this in the trash. You figured it out last week. Using the leftover e extract from the human soul, I believe I have removed any corruption it held. Negating the need for someone pure of heart. Yes. So you did it! Daddy's wish could come true, right? We can make him smile, make him proud of us. But he didn't want you to be a part of this, and I agree. Let me do it! I want to make things right, be useful for once, and I trust you to keep me safe. I... I do believe that the refined method would work. I just... Please! You promised you would make his dreams come true. I did. Very well. But I'll make it quick. I'll ensure your safety throughout the procedure, alright? Mm-hmm. We'll be the heroes of the underground, all thanks to you and Daddy. Uh, heroes, huh? That has a nice ring to it. Okay, wait here. You will need to stand very still for this. Close your eyes and I will begin the fusion extraction. You may feel a pinch or two, but it'll all be over before you know it. Understood? Understood! You truly believe in this, don't you? Yeah! Love you lots. Love you more! No! No, 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 no! Why didn't it work? Kanaka, wake up! Wake up right now! Mommy's here! Come on! Hey! What? What have I done? So you know the truth now. Are you satisfied? Do you find joy in making me relive my darkest memories? I never claim to be a saint. I'm drowning in a sea of mistakes like anyone else. But instead of sinking, I'm chasing the one ray of sunlight peeking through the surface. I tried letting go, moving on, but I guess deep down, I'm too stubborn to live like that. This is my fate. This is how it must be. Oh my god, she's going Super Saiyan Rosé! Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm not even shooting anything. Oh my god, that did so much damage. Oh, I'm so low. I only have two heals left. Come on, dude. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. Okay, I still have the move that lets me heal. All right, we're hoping. Hold on to your hopes. Defensive really increased. Yikes. Let's endure again. Some health back. Oh no! Shit! Yeah, it's gummy bear. It. Oh, my last gummy bear! Full health.
My love. My child. All gone. Why wouldn't you just... I swore I had the key. Saving monster kind from their demise. Carrying on his legacy. It was worth the risk to me. But now? Now my life is over. For nothing. For no one. I have done unforgivable things. I let my husband work himself to death. I put my precious little girl through hell. And... Oh God. Star. Martlet. All for a chance to make a difference. A chance. I don't think I could bear this weight any longer. You won this battle. Do what needs to be done. We got a mercy, right? What are you waiting for? Please, give me this. Why are you like this? Always taking the high road. Aren't you angry? Aren't you just... Pull the trigger already! Pull it! Why? You... Soroba! You beat me up pretty badly, huh? Star, I... Don't sweat it too much. I reckon I deserved it for the Wild East fiasco. Heck of a hit, though. I didn't know you had that in you. I'm... I'm so sorry. Yay! They're both alive! Thank God! <gasps> Where am I? Clover, we gotta get out of here! No, it's finished. Clover... Clover won. Y'all had a fight? And the deputy won? My lessons worked. Wait, how much did I miss? I... I don't know what to do. Apologize, make excuses. Nothing would change reality. I dug a hole far too deep to climb out of. And for nothing. Where was I a few hours ago? In this same situation. My judgment was clouded and I screwed up. You forgave me. The four others did as well. We both made poor choices. No sugarcoat in that. But there is hope, at least. I believe there is. I can't begin to grasp what you've gone through. But this was an absolutely horrible way of dealing with it. You can't change what has happened. You're right. But you can control how you live from now on. Your actions will mean everything. But... Chujin, his legacy, his wish... It will never be fulfilled. Chujin might not have been the perfect monster I thought he was, but even his darkest secrets came from a caring place. And that right there is his legacy. It isn't found in a serum to save the world. Everyone he helped, everything he crafted, that's what matters. Martlet's right. He made life down here bearable for so many. And for that, he has my respect. I... I never thought about it like that. What the hell was I thinking? I was so tunnel vision, so lost. We can work through this. We're here for you. You should take some time to heal, recoup. But Kanako's well-being is still a valid concern. I have connections to the royal scientists, so... I'll begin an investigation. Try my best for help. I don't know what to say. Thank you, Martlet. Clover, I owe an apology to you most of all. My time in the Steamworks and what I said, it wasn't fake. It did allow me to briefly forget my troubles and have fun. But my reasoning for being there... I can't begin to... Yay! Why? I mean... Thank you. I'm gonna cry. I can't believe it's come to this, but... Clover, I think your journey is at its end. Asgore and the barrier await us. No! Already? As sad as it is, Clover needs to go home. That won't work. What? Sure, we know Clover for who they are, but Asgore... He won't see Clover as we do, and he doesn't care to learn. But this is a unique situation! The king has always been kind and understanding. Yeah, Clover wouldn't hurt anyone. You think that's ever mattered in the past? The truth stings, but it is what it is. So what? Should I take Clover back to Snowden? Hide out for the rest of our lives? Yeah, why couldn't Clover stay with us? I mean, it's plausible, but won't the royal guard be on the hunt? After so many encounters, Clover just disappears? It wouldn't be the first time. Oh yeah, they would probably think the same thing happened again. But... What about the others? You know, the next humans. Clover gets to live happily, but they have to die? Oh, we don't know their hearts. Maybe they- What? Deserve it? Have you learned anything? I'm just weighing our options. We're back into a, We're back into a corner, all right? Hey, calm down, guys. You know, I really thought that fiasco was enough. We all talked it through and things were going well. But you immediately suggest giving the future children up to- Didn't mean it like that. Get off- Whoa. You probably want to go home, don't you? 
Humanity already won by trapping us down here, yet they keep twisting the knife. This cannot continue any longer. We must have places to go, correct? The castle, the barrier. I did everything in my power to entertain- Oh, this is Flowey! So monsters wouldn't have to worry about being stuck down here. Anyway, we'll bypass the Royal Guard and plead your case to- Oh, no. Oh, th these are just all lines throughout the game, I think. I'm your real mission, Clover. Asgore only needs two more souls to shatter the barrier. Most might act cheerful of a life down here. It's hopeless. Five children you set out to find in the first place. Despite its ups and downs, our little adventure was a blast. Asgore's still out there, threatening human lives. I must thank you for opening my eyes. Keep your head in the game. Turns out you're a pretty damn good leader, Clover. Come on, Clover. You're a kind soul, one of the best I've met. Clover! 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 What are you doing? Hey, uh... Clover, what's going on? You're scaring us here. What does that mean? No! No, no, no! We'll, we'll think of a plan! We have options! Y yeah, something... D don't do something you'll regret! If it's snowed in you don't like, you can live with me! My house is a space and the posse loves you! Please, you gotta listen to us, Clover! You deserve better! You're... You're serious. I understand. Saroba! This whole time, what have we been doing? Dragging Clover around, pulling at a leash. Selfish. Clover came here by their own volition. They deserve to leave by it, too. But you don't want this outcome, right? Surely! There was another way. But let's face it, there isn't. I believe Clover realized that a long time ago. I don't know what to say. As much as I want to stop you, I see it in your eyes. This is about your freedom, isn't it? Oh, this is about our freedom, isn't it? Clover, you are the bravest, most selfless human I've met. Of course, I've only met one. But if I ever meet another, I hope they're just like you. I'd promote you to Sheriff, because Lord knows you've earned it. You aren't Sheriff material. You're much more. I already made my feelings known in Hotland, so... Psst. <laughs> this means more to us than you know. To everyone. Damn, I guess that canonically it makes sense that, that this would have to be the outcome no matter what. Well, I understand if you two don't want to be here for, you know. Do you have what you need? I do. Guess the sun's getting low. I'll see you around, partner. You got a receipt for that? Thanks, kid. Goodbye, Clover. You've changed my life, truly. <gasps> oh my gosh! Damn, man! How will I know you're a human now, huh? This means a lot. I'm sorry the world is like this. But people like you make it better. Thank you. Well, we'll be outside. You've gained my respect. I mean it. Do you want me to stay? I'll be okay. Very well. This won't be forgotten. Goodbye, Clover. Are they gonna, like, disappear? Oh! So, this is it? All that work just to become another cog in the machine! Heh, <laughs> you've grown so predictable. I could undo all this right now, but maybe you've earned your rest. 
After all, there's always another. Can't say it's been fun, so I suppose this is where we part ways. Oh, who am I kidding? Until we meet again, friend. Damn, man. Wow, that was so good. Huge ups to the team who made this game. Good lord. And that was Undertale Yellow. As a reminder, this was in development for nearly a decade, and wow was it worth the wait. My whole experience with this game was positive, and it makes me really want to replay the original game and finally play Deltarune before Toby Fox releases Chapter 3 in 12 years. Going into it, I was doubtful that this game would be able to measure up to the original in terms of dialogue, story, and characters, which were my favorite parts of Undertale, but I'm happy to report I was wrong. Huge props to Master Sword Remix and the entire team. Y'all did a fantastic job, and I cannot wait to see what you do next. But I'm not done with this game. Despite playing this all the way back in April, I've still yet to do the genocide route. And while I'm pretty busy and have a lot of other projects to work on right now, I will eventually come back to take that on. Thanks for watching. Well, here we are again, of course. Uh, there's gotta be some way to get what I need. Clover's competent enough, but still, nothing ever works out when it comes to them. Hmm, I could reset and try my luck again, or... I could accept this outcome and wait. The king is only one soul away now. It might be a good idea to piggyback off of the next human instead. But who knows how long that'll take. And even worse, if the next human would have the will to do what Clover couldn't. Decisions, decisions. Let me think.